Well, Vince, here we go. Kickoff event of season 15 on the World Poker Tour. Well, there you see the Club WPT chip count. There's a chip leader, Bastion Fisher from Germany with 8.7. Now the Andes are 20,000, buying 60 and 120. That's what they're playing for, close to $700,000 for the first place champion. Of course, they're gonna win that beautiful U-Blow watch that goes along with the prize. A lot of perks to the champion, six pros fighting it out for this title. Action on Jack Duong out of New Jersey, quickly folding his hand. Now James Mackey also not gonna play. Over to Matthew Smith, the short stack at the table, he folds. Craig Varnell with a nothing hand, releases it. Over to the chip leader in the small blind. Bastion Fisher looks down at King Nine of Clubs, very surprised he wouldn't raise out of the small blind with this hand being the chip leader. Benjamin Zamani happy to see a flop. Yeah, within 6-4. We're going to see the first three in our first hand here tonight. Yeah, flop comes ace, four, three. Bastion checks. Zamani with middle pair has to feel like they're good because you just don't put your opponent on an ace when they limp in in the small blind. So he is going to fire 120,000. Into the chip leader, but he's going to get a little stubborn making this call. So we're going to the turn. It is a 10 of diamonds. Well, again, Bastion checks. Will Zamani fire again after getting called on the flop? Yes. This guy is one tough cookie, I can tell you that. He's got over 2.8 million in live tournament winnings, just 30 years old. That is extremely impressive. He bets 315, it is gonna work. Benjamin Zamani from Boca Raton, Florida, 30 years old, gonna take down pot number one. James Mackey, hand number two. Mackey out of Kansas City, Missouri, won't play a junk hand. Now Matthew Smith, the short stack at the table. And King nine of spade. From Margate, Florida, 26 years old, lights his hand, he will raise, makes it 260 to go. Craig Varnell going out, and now Bastion again, the German, the chip leader, with a nice hand, King Jack of clubs, and he will call it. Well, he didn't raise out of the small blind with King nine of clubs. Now he's calling a raise with the King Jack of clubs. Zamani out, now Jack Duong out of Plainfield, New Jersey, 27 years old. He won't play that. Two-handed poker. Battle of the King Highs here. And the flop comes ace, ace, deuce, two hearts. Let's see if Matthew in the short stack will make a continuation bet. He is doing it. Not a big bet compared to the pot size, 210,000, but enough to get the job done. As Bastion goes out, so Matthew just happy to pick up the chips. And Matthew says poker's a mentally exhausting game, but he loves it. And there you see Bastion Fisher, 8.2 million out in front. Yeah, Matthew Smith, who just won that last pot at the University of South Carolina, has a double major in finance and marketing. A very bright guy. Craig Varnell will not play this. And Bastion now. And he'll make it 270 to go. But right behind him, Benjamin Zamani with a very strong ace king. Well, how do you play it against a chip leader? Do you three bet here? Benjamin just calling, does not three bet. A little surprising. Duan going out. Mackey won't play. Matthew Smith, who just won the last hand, also releases. So heads up poker, here we go. Flop comes queen nine six with two diamonds. No help to either player. Check. Bastion checks. Bastion Here comes Benjamin, didn't re-raise pre-flop, but now he's gonna bet on the flop with just ace high. Has the best hand though. 195 into the German, and the German folds the knock worst again. So Benjamin Zamani taking that. No one hitting cards really. Benjamin has a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. He cashed eight times in the 2016 World Series of Poker. And in fact, he finished first and second in back-to-back 1,500 no-limit tournaments. That is pretty good stuff. And around to Jack Duong. Out as well. James Mackey now set up with a 9-7 of spades. Likes the position, will raise it to 275. Yeah, they call him MIG. Maybe because he shoots so many players down. Uh -huh. Matthew Smith gonna shove all in with ace-10. 
How do you like that? Well, I like it. You have like three? Ronell out? Uh, 2.6. And Mackie now with the decision. Folds the hand, and Matthew Smith take it down with the shove. See, it's going to go all in. That's when they, that's when they turn. All players with well over three million in chips, though, so still anybody's game. Action on Jack to Wong. Jack's picked up a big hand, ace queen. He will raise to 275. Fold it around to Bastion. He looks down at ace king. This could spell trouble for DeWong here. 800. You're going to see the three come up right there for the three bet to 800,000 for Bastion. Damani gets out of the way, so back on Duong. Can he get away from this? That's the question. Or do you re-raise and get yourself in big trouble? Wow, big lay down by Jack DeWong. Just throws the ace queen away. In poker, it's not about money you win a lot of times. It's about money you save by making those kind of lay downs. Jack has watched the World Poker Tour. He says his whole life, it's a dream come true to be here. And what a great lay down with ace queen. Yeah, Vince, maybe he's watched all those ace queens get beat here in the World Poker Tour. He just threw his right away. All right, back to the next hand. Action on James Mackey. Quick fold by him. And now Matthew Smith with ace eight of spades. And he will move it up to 260 to go into Craig Varnell, who has picked up a pair of queens. Varnell, he won our WPT 500 at Aria back in 2015. And he is going to three bet it there, as you can see by our new graphics. The three to 620,000. Bastion and Benjamin out. Duong also folding and now back on Matthew. Now Matthew, one of the short stacks at the table. Do you really want to get involved with an ace eight after a three bet? There's your answer, no. So Craig Varnell, happy to pick up the chips. There's his family in the audience there. It's his dad, Kevin. Girlfriend Denise Good is here rooting him on as well. Craig from Aurora, Colorado, been a professional just three years. He's the oldest player at the table at 33. Three different players are 30 years old exactly at this table, and a couple guys in their 20s. All right, right back at it. on Craig, and look at this. He's got a pair of kings. Wow. Queens and then kings. He's getting his rush. How's this guy running? He'll raise with this. Let's see if he gets action. Couple folds behind him. Around to James Mackey. He can't call. Matthew also out. So he's got to be a little disappointed, but you take it when you can. He just feels so lucky and blessed to be a professional poker player, Craig Varnell. His dad, who flew in to watch him tonight and is rooting for him, gave him some advice, Vince. He urged him not to play poker for a living. <laughs> Craig went against Pop's wishes and, and it's certainly been a good choice for him thus far in his career. Yeah, that father's advice never works out. <laughs> Get to the poker table. Well, Craig's been a pro for three years. He has 843,000 in lifetime tournament winnings prior to this tournament. So that number's going up, but that's a pretty good batting average for such a young pro. Well, move it on, Benjamin, with ace jack raised, and Jack Duong behind him with the pair of kings this time. We are seeing some big hands at this final table so far. I think we're going to see another three come up on the graphics. There it is, a three bet by Jack Duong to 625,000. Mackie and Matthew out. Craig can't play that mess. Now back around to Benjamin Zamani. Just staring his opponent down, as you can see. So far, I've seen DeWong play pretty solid and pretty tight here. Do you really want to get involved with this guy with an ace jack? He could afford to do it. He's got over 8.5 million in chips to speculate for a few hundred thousand more. Will he do it? Nope. So Zamani lays it down. So Jack Duong, the short stack at the table, picking that one up. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. All right, Jack DeWong sitting in fifth chip position at the moment, but looks down at ace king of diamonds. Big slick. 
He's going nowhere with this hand. Raise it up to 275,000. Mackey out now. Matthew Smith with an ace 10. Now he's going to save his chips. Very good lay down. And a pair of deuces for Craig. Got to think he'll speculate with that. Well, you're the chip leader. You're in position. You're on the button. I think small pairs are pretty easy to play, so he's going to make the call. You have a chance to win a lot of money with them if you flop a set. So we're heads up here. Ace-King versus two deuces. Now flop comes queen, queen, four with two diamonds, so Jack with the nut flush draw checks. Very surprised at that check. Perhaps he's going to try to trap his man. The deuces will bet it. Now, what will Jack do? Jack with an okie dokie call. Boy, I'm very surprised he wouldn't raise here with the four flush. Let's see if he catches his flush. Mm. Six of spades, so no flush appearing. Let's check again. And the deuces out in front. Also going to check. Down to the river we go. Can Jack get lucky? No, nine of spades. Thanks, Ace King could have some showdown value. Both players check. The two deuces are going to win this pot. And Jack DeWong's lack of aggressiveness might have cost him that pot, thanks. Well, he's kind of short stack. Just didn't gamble with the chip leader. And it backfired a little bit. Craig Varnell takes down another pot. Deuces never loses. Woo <laughs> 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 woo! Girlfriend Denise whooping it up over there. All right, and the price of poker is going up with a $25,000 ante, and the blinds are going to be $75,150 to make this more intriguing. Well, it's $375,000 around to play now, and that's if you don't play a pot. So with the blinds up here like this, you have to mix it up, Vince. You just can't sit back and wait for aces and kings, or you'll get blinded down. Quick fold by Mackey Matthew. Queen Deuce won't play. Craig even going out. Over to Bastion. He's on the button. Gonna raise it up here with a jack six. The button raises, we call it. Yeah, Zamani folding. And Jack Duong. Well, we've seen him play so conservative so far, but he quickly calls out of the big blind here with a jack eight. Let's see who will get lucky. The flop's a nine nine ace. And Jack's gonna check it and Quick continuation bet by Bastion. Now, Bench, was that too quick? Yes, yes, that's a tell. Jack didn't pick up on it. He lays his hand down. And we'll look back as a confirmation that he did not have a strong hand he, because he's proud of himself. He's saying, look at look what I won with. Sometimes when they bet real fast, folks, they're trying to represent strength when really they don't have it. I'd say about 90% of the time. 10% of the time <laughs> you get those very tricky players that will do a reversal and it's quite effective. You're going to give hope to all. If you can pick up these tails, anybody can. <laughs> all right, Craig Varnell, well out in front now at 9.2 million. Down to the felt we go. Matthew Smith. Yeah, I think so. Poker pro out of Margate, Florida. Tough player. He will not play this one. Craig, our chip leader, going out. And now Bastion. You know, he takes a breather. Zamani would like to play, but can't with an 8-4. So the battle of the blinds here. Jack has a 6-4 of spades, and he likes his position. He's going to raise with it. Makes it 400000 to go. But Mackey's going to stick around with the queen nine. Quickly calls. Flop is a king, Jack, eight, two diamonds, no help to either player, and Jack Duong, not even hesitating, gonna bet a half a million. Well, James has the gut shot straight draw, but he's gonna give it up. So aggressiveness paying off there for Jack Duong, picking up that pot. Absolutely, they are playing with nothing and winning. That's what you do on the WPT. We're coming back for more action from WPT Chata in just a moment. Let's go down to the felt six players battling for this championship. And Bastion Fischer with an ace deuce from Germany. Tough player will fold Benjamin Zamani also out. 
And uh, Jack Fulton as well, and James Mackey on the button, gonna make a raise here. 350,000. Matthew Smith folding, and now Craig Varnell in the big blind. He can afford to speculate, and he does so. King five versus four five. Here we go with the flop. It's at ace seven three. Well, no help for James. Does give Craig a two-way straight draw. He checks. Continuation bet made by James here. Two hundred seventy-five thousand. Wouldn't be shocked at all if Craig check raised here with the two-way straight draw. But just calls. Calling, hoping to get lucky on the turn. Let's take a look. No, seven pairs the board. Well, Craig checks again. James checking right behind him. Now the eight of hearts comes off, so three hearts out there. I feel like you just have to go with it, your gut sometimes. Sometimes you're wrong, but sometimes you're right. And usually your first instinct is usually the right instinct, you know? Like, you just have to, like, go with it, you know? Well, the instinct here is if he checks, he has no chance to win the pot with a five high, so he is going to take a stab at it. Yeah, he's going to go with it 675, and it's going to work. So nice bet on the river there by Craig to take down that pot. Everything going his way, winning with nothing hands. Get him, boy. As his family loves it. And he says his hobbies are sports, playing with dogs. He likes that, likes to travel. On to the next hand, James Mackey. With a pair of tens this time. He'll make it 350 to go. Matthew out. And Craig out. Over to Bastion on the button. He's got the ace high. He's got position. James just staring him down, but Bastion gives it up. Now Benjamin Zamani won't play that junk into Jack. He's got an attractive queen jack of hearts, and he'll play. So we're going to have a flop here. It's a queen jack versus two tens. King six deuce. No help to either player. Jack checks. And James checks. Very surprised by that check. Absolutely shocking. And it's going to backfire on him as a queen hits the turn. Hitting Jack. He checks it. Probably going to cost him the pot. Well, James checks again. Now the board pairs queen. So now you're going to see the Wong bet here for sure. Three of a kind. And most likely get paid offense. He's been gifted this one. 450,000. Bad non bet on the flop by James Mackey. And now, don't do it. Yep, he's going to do the right thing finally and gets out of the way, folds the hand. You have to put your opponent on a king or a queen to fold there. Mackey did that, so the wrong picking up the pot. He's a short stack, but coming back, six players remain. And a quick fold by Matthew Craig also going out. Bastion not playing. And there's Zamane on the button. Going to give up a queen eight. So the battle of the blinds here. Jack DeWong going to limp in with a 10-9. And James going to have none of that, Benzi. He's going to raise here with the queen ten of spade. And this is the problem when you try to limp in against good players. They just don't let you see many flops. They're going to raise it, and you're just going to burn up your money. Mackey going to take down that pot. So the lesson is if you're up against a real strong player in the big blind, don't limp in the small blind. Raise if you're coming in the pot. James Mackey has made close to three million in worldwide earnings. Very impressive. And we move on. A quick fold by our chip leader, Craig. Bastion, who came in as the chip leader, now in second chip position, going out. And now Ben Zamani's finally picking up pretty decent King 10. He'll raise to 375. Jack goes out. Mackey not playing. But Matthew Smith with a little suited connector, nine, eight of spades. His problem is Vince, he's on the short stack here. He makes his call. He's going to have about 10, 11 big blinds left is all he has. So he does make the call. Will he get lucky? Plump comes ace, queen, five, two clubs. Disappointment for Matthew. He checks. And it goes check, check. Surprise, the money would check that flop. Now Queen comes off. Pairs the board, Matthew. Check in again. Well, Zamani, I don't blame him for checking now. He's got check down value with the king high. Three of clubs comes off, so three clubs out there as well. 
And Matthew going to just give this up with another check. I don't understand why Zamani's betting here. I mean, what are you going to get paid off with other than something that's going to beat you? 475 he bets, and of course it's going to work. Well, I guess the purpose of betting, you don't have to show your cards. Nobody knows what you had. Ben Zamani, his third time at the WPT final table. I finished second at Best Bet Jacksonville last season. Second to Tyler Patterson, one of the most popular pros out on tour. He had to take down a championship he'd love to tonight, of course. Let's move down to the pit again, and Bastion Fisher this time, first to act, and he's got the 9-10. Won't play it. And Zamani with the ace eight of clubs is gonna raise here, I'm guessing. There is the raise to 350,000. Might be bad timing because right behind him, Jack Duong with a pair of kings. He's gonna play it sneaky, just calling. Wow. Mackie gets out of the way, and now Matthew Smith with a pair of nines. All in. She's going all in. He's only got 11 big blinds. You can't blame him for going all in there. Craig goes out. Which is it? One point four to make the call, but with a man behind him, I don't think he will. He gives it up, but a snap call by Jack. And Matthew sees the bad news. Not only does his opponent have the overpair, they're in the same suits as his, meaning he can't make a flush to win the pot either. So Matthew, right now, in jeopardy of going out in sixth place. You got my suits covered too. I'm just, <laughs> just at least give me red nines, you know. Nothing he can do. Both flushes are cut off. He's just gonna have to get lucky, try to spike a nine. Pair over pair. Let's take a look at the 754. No luck for Matthew. Man, I could backdoor straight. Must do that or catch a nine, otherwise he'll be our sixth place finisher. Jack looking good. Turn cart is a three. I'll take a six. Let's chop it up. Now if a six comes off, they would split the pot as both players would have a seven high straight. Matthew needs a nine to win the pot, a six to chop the pot. Chop on, chop on. Chop, yeah. Six or nine. Six or chop. Eight. Crazy things happen here on the WPT. Let's take a look at the river. Breathe, Jack, breathe. <laughs> Jack sweating it out, he's in front. Can he break his man? River card is an eight of diamonds. So that's gonna do it for Matthew Smith from Margate, Florida. The youngest player at the table at 26, out tonight in sixth place. Yeah, Matthew's gonna take over 134,000. One player already chopped out of here at Choctaw. Let's go talk to him. A little disappointed, of course, but there's nothing much I can do about that. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Well, this is the kickoff event of season 15 on the World Poker Tour. There you see the Club WPT chip count. Five players left. Craig Varnell out in front with 9.5 million in chips going for his first WPT title here. Winner's gonna take home close to 700,000. And you also win that beautiful Ublow timepiece if you happen to take home this championship. So a lot at stake. And he's a 25,000 blind, 75, 150. Action on Jack Duong. Quickly folds his hand. James Mackey also going out. Where Craig Varnell, he's out, so Bastion Fisher, who came to the final table as the chip leader, is gonna limp in in the small blind here with ace high, and Benjamin Zamani doesn't raise out of the big blind, also has ace high. Well, flop comes five, three deuce with two spades. Bastion. Gonna bet right out with the wheel draw. Benjamin has the same drawing hand, of course. He's out kicked, however, with his ace high. But he is gonna make the call. So we're going to the turn. Well, the ace of spade comes off. Now, both players made two aces, but with a possible straight and possible flush out there, 
I don't think they're going to go crazy about their two aces. And the German's going to check it. And also, Zamani going to the river. Let's see who gets lucky at eight. So that gives two pair to Bastion. Well, his opponent didn't bet on the turn. So hoping he's not got a straight or a flush. He's going to bet aces and eights. Too bad. And he's going to win the pot with it. Zamani just with the two aces. Throws his hand away. So Bastion Fisher picking up a pot. Bastion, a 30-year-old from Detmold, Germany. He's had 45 caches, mostly in Europe and Las Vegas. That's a lot of caches. Well, that's his second WPT cache, his first WPT final table. And we move on. It's on him this time to act first. Quick fold, Benjamin Zamani also going out. Jack Duong from Jersey also folding. Craig Varnell getting a walk. No way. I gotta show the camera the camera. Oh my God. Oh boy. And he looks at two kings, says I can't believe it. Great hand by me. First walk anybody's gotten today. It's like the first walk I've had this whole tournament. That's insane. You're happy, but get no value for it. Disappointing. Well, there you see some of the new graphics we're gonna use here on season 15. The action button means whose turn it is. We abbreviate the actions that players will take. You see a three for a three bet, a four for a four bet. So just a little bit to help you out to follow the action. All right, back to the money pit. Jack Duong picking up a pair of sixes in first position. Jack from Jersey's gonna raise it. He makes it 350 to go. Mackey's gone out, but Craig Varnell behind him has a pair of tens. Well, Vince, there's no doubt who's picked up the most hands at this final table so far. Craig Varnell has that title, and that's one you'd love to have if you reach the final table, I can tell you that. And he is going to three bet it here to 750,000. You see the number three next to it? That's for a three bet. Bastion and Zamani going out, so back on the sixes. That's Jack Duong. And Jack, you can see that little arrow. That means it's on Jack to make a decision, and he will speculate. He will call with the sixes, hoping to get lucky on a flop. Well, I don't blame him. I would have called, too. Let's see what the flop is. Well, flop is queen, eight, seven. Three over cards of the two sixes, so he checks. Just one over card to Craig's pair, so he is going to bet 600,000. Wants to find out where he is. And that's probably going to do it for Jack, I'm guessing. Jack says, everybody thinks I'm a math guy, but I'm not. I'm more of an instinct guy, and this time, instincts are right. He goes away. So Craig Varnell extending his chip lead. There's his dad, Kevin, his girlfriend, Denise. They flew in to watch him play at this final table. Rooting him on. That's nice. Your dad has a ponytail. Gotta love that. <laughs> uh... Well, his dad encouraged him not to play poker for a living, Vince, three years ago when he told him that's what he wanted to do, but he's been very pleased with the results, and Craig Varnell says, I absolutely love my life. It's just working out great so far, and certainly if he wins a WPT title tonight, it'll be even better. Benjamin Zamani now, thinking about a junk can. Nope, goes away. And Jack out as well. What a James Mackey, they call him Mig because he shoots down so many players when he plays poker. He will call it, try to get in cheap. Well, just limps in the small blind. I'm very surprised Craig wouldn't raise out of the big blind with ace high there, but opts to check and see a flop. And flop comes ace, queen, jack. Now James Mackey's just not gonna put his opponent on big cards like that because he didn't raise him before the flop. Well, that is the strength of the disguise that Craig has done. He is making the call, of course, four spades on the turn. Mackey now makes a pair of fours on the turn, but he's trying to represent more than those fours. 375, he's betting. Oh. And a quick call by Varnell. So we're going to the river. It's a matter of if Mackey's going to shut down or not. He is indeed. It goes check, check. Gonna win. Craig Varnell going to win the pot with two aces. And because he limped in before the flop, you just don't put him on an ace, Vince. That's why Mackey took a couple stabs at that pot. And that is why it's so great to change up the game, mix it up at times. Look at Benjamin Zamani with ace-10, first position, but he quickly folds. Interesting. And Jack behind it with a 4-5 of clubs is going to make a raise to 350. Well, notice how James Mackey shot his eyes over there at Jack. 
All in. Wow. And he's going over the top all in with just an ace-eight offsuit here. Bold play by Mackey. That little A represents all in, of course, next to James. So he has pushed all in, and Jack has got to push all out. Well, they can't call another three million with just five high. But what timing by Mackey there to move all in. Craig Barnell, as you can see, nearly 12 million in chips. Widening his chip lead with five players left. Zamani now on the short stack here. Into James Mackey. He's from Kansas City, Missouri. 30 years old. What a player. And he quickly goes out. Craig also getting out of the way. Bastion with the button. He's from Germany. Came in as the chip leader. He has raised it with a 7-5 and now Behind him, Benjamin on the short stack here has King Jack. Well, Benjamin, another 30-year-old with nearly three million in live tournament winnings. All in. And he is going over the top all in. A great read by him as well. Jack out. Jack will step aside over And Bastion can't compete with the seven fives. So good timing by Benjamin Zamani. Well, it gives you a glimpse of why Mackey and Zamani have nearly three million in career tournament live winnings when they're able to read their opponents like that and move all in over the top with Ace Eight offsuit and King Jack offsuit. Two players at the table with by far the most career earnings in live tournament poker are James Mackey and Benjamin Zamani, but then they're sitting in fourth and fifth chip position at the moment. So forget about all that experience. You better get a hold of some chips. All right, action on James Mackey. And with just a jack 10, we'll raise to 325 to go. Craig goes out. Over to Bastion. Looks down at the two snowmen. How much did you stop that with? Like three point? Yeah, just under four, 3.8. Young German came into this final table as the chip leader. He just calls, though. Oh. Snap all in by Benjamin here. Over the top of both of them. Mackey quickly out. Back on Bastion with those snowmen. Uh, Vince, in his mind, he knows the best he can be in is a race. And he could be completely dominated here by an over pair, so. Bastion cannot compete. He's gonna lay this one down as well. Same hand. Hmm? Same hand. Mm -hmm. said we had the same hand. Not exactly. Two eights, right? Wow, he called his hand. <laughs> oh, this is gonna put an element of doubt in Bastion's mind. Can he really read that well? What? Huh? Huh? You see that, he's just questioning, how could that guy know what I had? Well, he's good, that's why. Taking it back there a bit. Clairvoyancy at this table. We move on, quick fold by Craig, and now Bastion, uh, wish he had those eights back. Fold, Samani out. And Jack has picked up ace jack of diamonds. He likes it, he raises it to 400. And James Mackey behind him with a king jack. And he's going to make the call to see a flop. So Jack dominating right now. Ace jack versus king jack. And the flop comes king 5-4 with two diamonds. You're going to see a big pot here, folks. James has top pair. Jack has the nut flush draw. He leads out in bets. 4-25. When you call raises before the flop of the King Jack and it comes King 5-4, you're not going anywhere. Mackey going to raise here with the two kings, and I'll be shocked if Jack DeWong doesn't move all in over the top here. All in. And he does. All in. Okay. I call. Mackey makes Here's the call the with the two kings. Mackey, a slight favorite here, 54% to win this pot. Wow, Mackey rolling his eyes. And the six on the turn, so no diamond for Jack. James is very lucky against me when he gets in bad. He, two times I had him all in, and he had the worst of it. I had him crushed, dominated, and he sucked out on me. 
And then the one time he had me all in, he was ahead, and I suck out of him. The dynamic is whoever gets in bad is uh, usually gonna come out ahead. Let's see what happens now. River card, please. River card, can Jack knock out his man? It's a four hearts, it's not gonna work that way. So James Mackey gonna double up. I just saw red at first. I can assure you he'll be a force to be reckoned with now if he gets a few chips. And he has put Jack on the respirator. Jack crushed there. Well, Vince, I don't fault his play at all. I would have played it the same way. It's unfortunate. His opponent did have top pair and that he couldn't make a hand. Jack Twong in a heap of trouble at this point. He didn't even have two big blinds, Vince. That's got to hurt. Very, very sad. Actions on Bastion. Quick fold by him. Benjamin Zamani with a king 10. Just calls. And Jack. I just don't know what hand you can possibly throw away here in this spot. <laughs> Getting this kind of value. Got a queen three. He's reeking with disappointment. And Vince, he just knows he's going to have to get lucky to win a pot, so you might as well win it. Or you're getting multi-way action. Yeah, no one's gonna raise this. James coming with ace deuce and Craig, even Craig with a silly nine three, wants to eliminate Jack. They're all ganging up on poor Jack. Jack the Wong has a chance to quadruple up. You don't get that opportunity very often when you're all in. All you need is a little magic on the flop, and the turn, and the river. Yeah, he needs a lot of magic, Vince, right now. All right, let's see if I... Four players, one player's all in. Now flop eight, six, five, incredible. Doesn't help anybody. And when that's the case and there's no side pot, it's generally checked down. You're hoping that one of the three of you that are still left in the pot with chips can bust the other guy where you move up in chip count. Check. Eight on the turn. Check. Jack would have to hit a queen to get out of this alive. Three would do it for him as well. Let's go to the river. It's going to be a seven of diamonds. Check. They're all going to check. Ace high. Straight. good. So Craig Varnell takes down the pot, and that's going to do it for Jack DeWan, the 27-year-old from South Plainfield, New Jersey, out tonight in fifth place. Going to pick up 175000 but another victim slammed out of Choctaw. Let's go talk to him. This fun. I love looking at this deep. Uh, I never made it this deep in WBT. I'm a little sad right now. I really wanted to win this one, and... It didn't work out this time. What I gained most from this experience is I got my confidence in my game back, and if I keep playing well, I think I'll be back. Down to four players. The blinds are going up to one and 200 with a $25,000 ante. Action on Craig, the chip leader, and he's going to raise with a jack. Ten of diamonds makes it 500000 to go. Bastion Fisher going out. All in. Here goes Benjamin moving all in with two threes. Mackey gets out of the way and back on Craig with the Jack Ten of Diamonds. I'm going to cost him another two million to make the call. No gamble, no future. No gamble, no future. He's gambling with the Jack Ten. He loves Ben's got the two threes where he's in a race situation. It's about even money as to who wins this pot from here. Come on, boy. Come on, Craig. Craig's family rooting him on to break Zamani. Zamani, of course, third time at a final table on the World Poker Tour. Never a champion. It's Poker Life on the line right now with five cards to come. Here's the first three. Well, so far, so good for Zamani. Flop is ace, king, six, all spades. Benjamin with the spade. Craig with the jack-10, looking for a queen, jack, or a ten that's not a spade. Going to the turn. It's safe, seven of hearts. Benjamin Zamani with the silly little threes. It could hold up. He's a favorite going to the river. It's an eight of hearts. Zamani's going to win this. So Zamani doubling up. Much to the delight of his fans in the house. Benjamin, of course, finished runner-up last season at Best Bet Jacksonville, looking for his first WPT title. Still got a shot. That's it. All right, Mackey going to raise with a nothing 6-5. Called by Craig. And now Bastion. Uh, can't imagine he's not going to join the party here out of the big blind. Yep, he's going to stumble around and make this call. So we have three-way action here. 
in a four-handed game. And flop comes king, queen, jack, two diamonds. Bastion with the four flush, he's gonna check it. They all check. Uh, offsuit three comes off. Craig with the best hand with ace high right now, but he can't stand any action, that's for sure. And he's checked it in Bastion. He's gonna come out of the woodwork and make a bet. 775. Man, this is a nice bet by him. You know, if he get calls, he's got a lot of outs to win the pot. But they run away, so Bastion takes it down by betting on the turn. Well done for him. And with it, he's inherited the chip lead. Came to this final table as chip leader. He's got it again. 10.3 million in chips. Couple folds around to Bastion again. With just a 6-7, gonna call. Now Benjamin picking up the real hand. Pair of jacks. He's gonna move it to 475 total. Bastion will splash around. He'll speculate. He'll say a little prayer. Now flop comes six five deuce with two spades. So Bastion with top pair and a backdoor straight and flush draw checks it, but Zamani checks right behind him with the over pair. Now the board pairs fives. Yeah, very surprised at the check on the flop by Zamani. Again, Bastion's gonna check. Wow, I can't believe Zamani checks again. How can he give his opponent a free card here? Another five on the river. A full house for both players here. Bastion has to bet here. He's gotta think his opponent's got ace king, ace queen, ace jack, something like that where he could well pay you off here by betting. And certainly that's what he's doing. 650,000. Zamani's saying, wait, do you really have a five? Did you just pick up a five? Don't do this to me. And it's just gonna call. A little surprised he didn't raise, Vince. Well, you couldn't have played that any more timid than Benjamin Zamani did there. <laughs> James Mack is even laughing about it. Never be too careful. <laughs> well, I think he did play that hand a little too careful, Vince. I think he left some money on the table by not betting on the turn or raising on the river. When he was thinking and then he called, he had to think there's no way he could lose. It's hard. It's hard to lose in that spot. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Bastian Fischer from Germany with a pair of fours. Bastion in second chip position right now, but gonna raise it up here with the Colt 44s to 450,000. Zamani going out. James Mackey from Kansas City. Well, he's got a pretty solid King Tennis Spades. Well, he's facing a raise in front of him, but doesn't phase him, Vince. He three bets it with a King 10 here. 1.2 million. It's great to go out and now back on Bastion with the fours. Nope, he won't play. I'm surprised he wouldn't even see a flop with that. Opted to lay it down, so nice three bet there by James Mackey. Well, one of these four players will be adding their name to the WPT Champions Cup. Who will it be? Certainly anybody's game right now. The low stack just over five million, the big stack just over 10 million. Action going on, Craig. He's raised with an ace nine to 450. Behind him, Bastion with an ace five of diamonds. Bastion's played very conservative thus far at this final table, but he's going to open it up here, looks like, with a three bet to 1.2 million. Benjamin Zamani with a nothing five deuce. I mean, why would you stall here? You know he's going to muck this Trying hand. Trying to pretend like he had a decision. A yeah. A little acting there, Mike. All right. Now, here's the real problem back on Craig. You've raised it, and now you've been three bet, and all of a sudden, ace nine just sort of shrinks up. Do you fold, do you call, do you raise? What do you do with this hand? Well, I can tell you right now, if you're the chip leader, and Craig Varnell, you four bet it. That's what you do with it. 
And you watch this Ace Five shrink up now. Well, you just sometimes Woo. you think you're being robbed, and you make a move like this with just the Ace Nine, and yes, it's going to work. What a play by Craig Varnell right there against a guy that's played pretty conservative at this final table thus far. Well, his dad Kevin happy, girlfriend Denise happy, all the Varnells happy right now. Back down to the table, Bastion with a quick fold. Benjamin also going out. So the battle of the blinds here. James Mackey, very tough player, 30 years old, has 2.9 million in live tournament winnings. Well, he's raised it to 600,000. Craig gonna call behind him with queen eight. And here comes the flop. Well, it's eight, six, four. So James with a gut shot straight draw on the two over cards, gonna make a continuation bet here, like 700,000. I have to say, James gets involved with so many pots and yet he has nothing to never hit. It doesn't seem like he's just that talented. Here comes the raise. Craig with top pair. Happen to get a big piece of that. Well, Vince, he made a great four bet in the last pot with an ace nine offsuit. Okay. Here's a good raise. He's going to take down this pot. The guy is on a roll right now, no doubt about it. Listen. A lot of talent here at Choctaw. Battling it out for a huge first place prize and all the goodies that come with it. The table, four players. Craig Barnell, close to 13 million in chips. Can he close out the dream here tonight? On Benjamin Zamani, three-time WPT final tableist. He folds the hand. James Mackey now with queen nine. Yeah, gonna make a button raise here to 500,000. A call by Craig with the queen ten of clubs. The new graphics, you see the C means call, the R means raise, the arrow means the action's on you, and that's how much it is, 300,000 more. And call by Bastion, three-way action again. Wow, look at this flop. Two players have flopped a straight, the other one with the middle pair and a straight draw. Well, the two guys with straights both check. They all check. Now the seven of clubs comes off. This gives Craig a flush. Checking the trap. Well, Bastion flopped the straight. He still got it. He's going to bet this time around in case somebody's got one club. You don't want to let him draw for free at you, but little does he know, he's drawing completely dead. Mackie goes away. And now Craig would like to punish him a little bit more. Yes, he does. Well, just in case his opponent's got a set or a ace or king of clubs in his hand wants to make him pay to hit a hand that could beat him, we know now that there is no hand that can beat Craig, and he's definitely going to win the pot just no matter how much. Now, how about that? Bastion flop to straight, just throws it away right on the turn. Had anybody bet the flop, Bastion would be out of here in fourth place right now. Let me see. No, no, no. I want to see. You want to see that? He's going to turn the hand up and show these guys. All you're going to do is make this guy feel very good. Bastion says, whoa, I'm on a free roll right now. If somebody would bet that flop, I'd have been busted. He'd have flopped a straight and been out, drawing dead. That's how it happens. Okay, we move on. James Mackey has raised with a king nine. Craig has gone out, and Bastion now with an ace ten. Well, Bastion has made the call. Benjamin folds, so ace 10 versus king nine. Bastion kind of feel like a million bucks right now, Vince. He's on a free roll to win this title in his mind after that last hand. Here he's got top pair, top kicker, loving it. He checks. But James Mackey, no continuation bet this time. Now the five of clubs comes off. This gives Mackey a flush draw. Bastion out in front with the tens and is gonna bet him 600,000. No raise by James. Gonna call. Hope to hit a club on the river. See if he can do it. Yes, he does do it. Queen of clubs on the river. Wow, a backdoor flush for James Mackey. You just can't put your opponent on backdoor flush draws. It's just hard to do. Well, Bastion is gonna check. The clubs ruined him in the last hand. They've done it again here. James Mackey can't believe his luck. Kansas City kid, age 30. Sticking out of bat. Little over 1.4 million. Well, that's 60% of the pot. 
a pretty big bet there. Now, how do you get away from tens here? You don't put your opponent on a queen. Bastion. So Bastion is going to make the call. He sees the back door flush. Nice. you got to be kidding me. How lucky is this guy? Oh, boy, that's a knife in the fingers there for the German. Just awful. He's looking again. No, it wasn't a nice hand. Don't say it. It's just awful when that happens. No one left. All these guys trying to get their name engraved on the WPT Champions Cup. Lines are one and two. Action on the German. Bastion, he goes out. Now Benjamin Zamani with an ace, ten of clubs. Zamani, ironically, was born in Germany, but grew up in Boca Raton, Florida. Well, he has raised to a half a million. James Mackey going out. Craig going to call with queen nine, and it's suited. Here's the flop. Queen, queen, deuce. How good is Craig Varnell running? Checking his trying to trap. Benjamin's not going to bite. He checks behind him. Well, that's a nice check. Five of spades on the turn. Well, Craig is now going to bet here. 650000 but Zabani puts no more money in that pot. Amazing. Vince, he lost the minimum possible with that ace ten of clubs there. Wow, good feeling by Zamani. Did he possibly feel that Craig had a queen in his hand? Perhaps he did. Good fold. Ben goes out here. But James is going to raise it on the button. Makes it 450 to go. Craig behind him with an ace six. He's going to three bet advance. He just feels like everything's going his way right now. Why not just keep it going? Try to punish him, but could have a problem here. Bastion goes out. James makes the call for another 750,000. Has his opponent dominated. Let's see what happens. A nice flop for Mackey. He's got middle pair with top kicker, but he also has the nut flush draw. He's just hoping Craig goes wild with betting here. Craig get none of that is going to come out and make the continuation bet over a million. Well, Vince, virtually whatever he puts in the pot is going to be going to James Mackey's stack here. James Mackey just going to call, going to rope him in more. James just calls. Most guys would just moved all in right there, Vince. Wow, another heart. Well, the nut flush for James Mackey. Now, this does give Craig a pair of sixes, but he is drawing completely dead, as you can see. Whatever he puts in is just <laughs> goodbye. Still has heart, though, to make a bet. Over two million, taking a stab at it. Well, Vince, I think he just called here with the A-side flush. The guy's betting. Maybe he's got the queen of hearts in his hand. Maybe he's got a set. Maybe he's bluffing and bet again, but you have to give him that chance to. If you raise it, he can't stand to raise. You know that. And Mackey doing exactly that, just making the call here. Little okie dokie wants to throw him some more rope fence. Oh, complete discomfort of Craig. Sitting there on a frying pan right now. Well, Vince, when a guy calls you with this board, I just can't imagine you lose any more money in this pot. An awful feeling. Five of spades on the river, and Craig, don't do it again to yourself. Certainly he's got to wave the flag here, doesn't he? Will he bluff off more money? Oof. Oh, he finally wises up and checks it. Well, we know Mackey's going to move all in here. Craig is going to fold. Just a matter of how long it takes him to do it. All in. Well, there's part A, and here comes part B. Part C, bring out the barf bag. <laughs> so a massive pot there for James Mackey, and that's with it. He has assumed the chip lead with four left in this tournament. For a long time, Mackey picks up no cards, but he still does well because he manipulates so many pots. Now he's starting to get a little rush. Well, Vince, he was down to about 10 big blinds once at this final table. Now he's the chip leader with four left. And this guy will be tough to beat. You can take that to the bank. James, he quickly folds, and Craig picks up a pair of queens here. Big hand for the man. Makes it 4.50 to go. With all the big hands Craig Farnell wakes up with, you don't have to go crazy with ace-6 offsuits. All in. Bastion's gone all in with ace-8. Zamani quickly folds. And the snap call by Craig. 
And the German, Bastian Fischer, is going to need some help here, or he's going to be out in fourth place after coming to this final table as the chip leader. Craig, about a 70% favorite to win this pot. Bastian looking for an ace to take the lead. Comes King Six Deuce. Yeah, I know. I know there's a diamond coming on the turn. I already know. There's no doubt. Well, Bastian slides out the ace of diamonds. He sees the back door flush. He's grasping for straws, Vince. Going to the turn. Can Bastian get lucky here? Well, an eight comes off. Crown moans a little bit because another eight would give Bastion the win. Eight of diamond would be more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Must catch an ace or an eight, part of the dead man's hand, or Bastion will be a dead man in this tournament. <laughs> Craig feeling confident. The family feeling good. One card to sweat the knockout of man. It's going to work out for him. Ten of clubs on the river. The 30-year-old from Germany, Bastian Fischer, came to the final table with Chip Leader Vince. Just wasn't meant to be for him tonight. Out in fourth place. Bastian will take home 230,000. The mystery man from Germany is gone. We are down to three players. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Well, there you see the Club WPT chip count. Craig Varnell out in front with 15.2 million. James Mackey in second with 12.5. Benjamin Zamani in third place with 4.2 million. And the winner will take home close to 700,000 tonight from Choctaw. He'll become the champion. Also will receive the beautiful U-Blow watch. Make the tournament of champions at the end of the year. Let's go to the felt. One of these guys will do it tonight. Action on James Mackey. Queen 10 he has, and he makes it 400,000 to go. Blinds are one in 200,000. Well, Craig just calls with King, Queen of Clubs. Many players with three bet with that in. Benjamin Zamani also calling with the King 10. So everybody playing here in a raised pot. Here comes the flop. Well, ace, eight, eight. Now that flop misses everyone. It goes check, check, check. Going to the turn. And the nine comes off. And again, Craig checks. Benjamin checks. James has the worst hand of the three, has a gut shot straight draw, but look at this, Vince. He is going to bet. Those guys have been checking. He's going to bet 550000 Well, he got to see them check twice, had position on him. He's going to take a little gamble, and he will succeed with that move. So a nice bet there by James Mackey. They call him MIG because he shoots down so many players. Can he shoot two more down tonight and win his first WPT title? Oh, it's three bet. Hoping Ben was gonna squeeze. Is that a good enough band to go ahead to call a three bet? Mackey is from Kansas City, Missouri, 30 years old. Started playing online poker when he was in college. He did so well, he quit school to become a professional player. What I like about him, Vince, is that he volunteers at animal shelters, walking dogs, when he's not playing poker tournaments. Good for him. We have a fold and now a raise by Zamani with King Five. Mackey with Jack Ten. He'll see a flop. Oh, and the flop is a jack nine deuce. Jack's hitting Mackey. Nice flop for James. Benjamin checks. And a nice little 550 bet into Zamani. He has to fold the hand. So James Mackey getting some momentum here at Choctaw. All right, it's on James Mackey, and he's got a pair of nines. And there you see the R for the raise to 600,000 by James. And the C, which is the call by Craig with the King Ten of Clubs. Love the new graphics. All 
All right, two-way action between these two players. The flop's a ace, queen, four. A little continuation bet here by James. Not gonna like it when he gets called, though. Okay, he's got an inside straight draw. Turn card, will he hit? Nope, seven of diamonds. Well, Mackie checks this time. And they are both going to check, going down to the river. Now three of spade comes off. And again, Mackie checks. There? Uh, Probably not good. Yeah, that's good. Nine. Two nines are gonna be good in this hand. You just wonder if Craig would've got more aggressive with that hand. Could he have won that pot? And more else than I thought I did. So James Mackey, happy to pick up that pot with the two nines. And action's going to the young man, James Mackey. Queen deuce this time. He won't fool around with that. All in. Craig with ace jack says, I'm gonna put you all in. He's declaring all in, but what he's really doing is setting Benjamin Zamani all in. In case he wants to play, but Ben opts to fold. So Craig takes down the pot. Was it one away? How'd you know? <laughs> so much fun. Three-handed poker with a shot at the title here. Well, it's fun for these guys. The next guy out gets over 306,000. 412 to our runner-up, and the winner, of course, over 681,000. All right, Blondes are going up to 125,250 with a $25,000 Annie, and action's on Zamani. All in. He's going to push all in this time with Ace-8. Benjamin moves all in. Mackie out, and Craig won't play either. So, Zamani, who's made three final tables on the World Poker Tour, yet to become a champion on the World Poker Tour, but trying to do so tonight. Well, Zamani is quite a poker player. He has a World Series of Poker bracelet. He cashed eight times in the 2016 World Series of Poker. All in. All in by Craig here with a pair of sevens. And he will be victorious with that. <laughs> that was a joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Craig. Dad's old and slow. That is Craig's dad. Yeah, his dad Kevin flew in last night to watch him play this final table today. Actually gave him advice three years ago. Don't turn pro, just play recreationally. He didn't take his dad's advice, and it's paid off well for him. All in. So Monty's gone all in. Okay, I call. Going all in and called by James. James has the best hand with ace high. Yeah, Zamani took a shot with queen high. And right now he's a dog to take this home. But whose hand do you like better? Because the queen six suit, it's pretty, pretty nice. It looks pretty good to me. <laughs> it looks lie. pretty good. I think James, James Mackey from Kansas City out in front. On the brink of taking out Zamani. Here's the flop. Well, comes King three deuce with two hearts. James smiles. He sees his opponent. Was, it, was there any doubt? Has got a flush draw. Good for TV. Even if a heart comes on the turn, there's still a sweat. So. Oh, I thought you had ace five of diamonds. He's still in front with the ace high, but a lot of drama left in this hand. Show me some red. Give him a heart. One time. Ben needs to get lucky here, and it's not going to work out there. Ten of spades. It's come down to this, folks. Benjamin must catch a heart, a queen, or a six. Otherwise, we'll be playing heads up for the title. River card. It's a heart. He hits the flush on the river to stay alive. The dream lives on for Benjamin Zamani to take a WPT title tonight. Down to the green felt quick fold by Benjamin. Call. Mackey has made the call, and Craig with King 10 of hearts is gonna make a raise, 750 total. And a snap call by James. And the flop jack 10-5. So James with a gut shot, straight draw checks. Craig with two tens is gonna bet 550,000. And Mackey has to abort. Craig taking down the pot to his family's delight. James is very aggressive, definitely tries to bully around. Maybe I can get him in a spot where I actually have something big and get it in, you know, stack him. Well, trying to stack him, but he's well aware of how tough James Mackey is. All the players that try to bully you around are usually very good players. 
Action back on Craig with the button. Blinds a 125, 250, and Craig's just got a 7 4 of hearts. And he'll raise it to 575 total. Ben going out. And James Mackey always wants to look at a flop. Makes the call with Queen 9. And flop ace king 10, so Mackey out in front with the Queen 9 gut shot straight, but here comes the pressure by Craig Varnell that Mackey is just not going to be able to stand. Fake it till you make it, and it's going to work. Mackey has to lay down the hand. The aggression is paying off right now for Craig Varnell. Even the button tosses are perfect. <laughs> Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake-free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh. Where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. James Mackey now with eight set of hearts. He will raise the 500 called by Craig. Well then. Ben going over the top with ace three. Fold by Mackey. What is the total? Craig's got a pretty solid king jack of clubs, but look at this raise. Yeah, it's 5.3 million more for him to call. You're not really invested heavily at all. Maybe at best you'll be in a race situation. Well, that's at best. Uh-oh. Well, he's opted to gamble here. We've seen him do that a couple times at this final table. He feels it. Good call. It's a great call. For sure. Ben, what are you doing over there? Wug blockers. <laughs> huh? I guarantee I, I would win this pot right now. Yeah, I get you nine. Seven, eight of hearts. Everybody on their feet here at Choctaw. What an opportunity. Ben would go from one card away from elimination to the chip leader. And here's the flop. Seven, eight. Flop is a seven, eight, nine, all spades. Seven, eight, well, a great flop for Benjamin. He smiles because he has a flush draw now. So that eliminates the king and jack of spades from winning the pot and the ten of spades. On to the turn. Can Craig hit the card? Nope. Deuce of clubs. Down to the river. Zamani out in front. Will it stay that way? Yes. He's going to double up and stay alive. And in just a few hands, Benjamin Zamani went for rags to riches. He's now the chip leader with three players left. Action on Craig Vernell. He's got Jack Nine. And he's going to raise on the button here with it. 550 to go. Zamani now with a king three of diamonds. Wow, those are $100,000 chips, Vince. He is going to bet $1.5 million here with the King 3. Amazing. <laughs> James Mackey with a decent little 8-7 of spades. I'm all in. Wow, that's an incredible play, folks. He bet over $10 million there with 8 high into the chip leader for his tournament life. That is just going with your gut. Thinking the guy made a week three bet, which in fact he did. Well, Benjamin, this time with a pair of fives, raises to 575. Mackey with Queen Jack is going to re raise. Craig goes out. So back on Benjamin. Hold on. And he is just going to shove with the fives. You got it. Wow. They are playing the game. We each got each other there. <laughs> Good. Well, folks, if you like poker, you can't change that dial now. I can tell you that. I saw an ace when you. I saw one of your aces. You saw one of my aces. Ace five suited. Man, so you're amazed that these guys are not afraid to play. I, I mean, like forget it. about moving up a pay notch. 
They're all three going for the W. I'm telling you that right now. Solani out in front with 12.7 million. As we continue, it's on James Mackey. <laughs> He's got a pair of nines. Well, this is a very big hand in a three-handed poker game. Makes it 600,000 to play. Craig, though, with a seven. And he's going to three bet it again, this time to 1.8 million. Ben goes out. All in. All in. Well, now it's James' turn to go all in over the top with the four bet. Oh, this is ridiculous. Well, Vince, I can't imagine that Craig is going to call. Wow, he has done it. He is just gambling here in my mind. Jeez, Craig. <laughs> Craig opted to gamble this hand with the ace high. Let's see if it's going to pay off. If it does, he'll be chip leader. If not, he'll be our third place finisher. Well, you might say he's crazy, but the last hand, James moved all in with an eight high. If he'd had that hand, Craig would have had him this time, but not the case. Craig looking for an ace. Here we go with the flop. It's a king, eight, six, no help for Craig. The nine's out in front here. Well, Vince, if Craig gets knocked out here, he'll be talking to himself for a long time, I believe, about calling seven million more with a seven off suit. Going to the turn, Jack of Hearts is not gonna help Craig. Must have an ace on the river. Man plays by his hunches, and this time doesn't look like it's gonna pay off. Got one more chance in the deck. Show me a bullet. Three outer on the river. Can he pick it up? Nope. Two of spades. So just like that, from chip leader to panicked in third place. Craig Varnell opted to gamble a couple of hands, Vince. Probably shouldn't have, as it turns out. That's going to do it for Craig Varnell. He has had a great run here at WPT Choctaw and will be taking home over $300,000 for his third place finish. Well, he plays on guts and heart and instinct. Let's go find out what he has to say. Oh, hate to lose that guy. Yeah. It was a good experience. Uh, definitely could have folded the last hand. Just, uh, I was just getting a little crazy, four bet shoving every hand, so. And I saw Ben's hand last hand, they were doing it with like ace deuce and ace five. So, you know, I thought maybe I was good, but I probably should have folded. But it was a good experience and I'll be back. So. Now, what an event to kick off season 15 on the World Poker Tour. We're now down to heads up play against two tough young pros. James Mackey out in front, 19.5 million. Benjamin Zamani with 12.4 million. Liza 125, 250, here we go. Benjamin with a nice ace deuce of diamonds will call. Doesn't raise with the ace high on the button here. Disguising the strength of his hand. Mackey with 10-4, two spades. Look at this. He catches the flush. What a flop by Mackey here. He checks it. Here comes the continuation bet with just two deuces, 300,000. Now the question is, do you raise here or just call? Well, there's your answer. If you're James Mackey, you raise it. Just in case he's got ace-king, he may play the hand. He's got one big spade, he may play the hand. As it is, he's got bottom pair and no spade, and he folds. Yeah, Benjamin doesn't raise before the flop with the ace high, and it burns him in the end. Let a guy slop around with 10-4 spades, catch a flush, take your money. Move on, Mackey, this time with king-four spades. And he will raise it, 6.25 to go. Benjamin. Yeah, defenseless. Can't compete with a 10-3. James Mackey off to a good start in this heads up battle. Can he keep it going? Cross the finish line with his first WPT title. Online tournament fees can add up quickly. Breaking news. Every tournament is rake free for the month of April on WPT Global. Huh, where? On WPT Global. Why? We are crazy. Sign up by clicking the link in the description and play tournaments with no fees at WPT Global. Use bonus code YT53 and we will match your first deposit dollar for dollar. No rake. No fees. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. 
These guys both have nearly three million in live tournament winnings prior to this. They're just 30 years old. So their resume is extremely impressive. Both World Series of Poker bracelet winners, both looking for their first WPT title. Unraised pot, and here we go, nine, six, three on the flop. So six is for Mackey. He checks him. Inside straight draw for Ben. Well, he is gonna bet 350,000 and get called by James. So we're going to the turn. Well, an eight comes off. James checks the two sixes. Benjamin with the opening straight draw now. He's gonna bet here, Vince. He is not slowing down here. Knows he can't win the pot with a seven high, so he just keeps firing. Mackie's gonna make this call, though. And now a seven comes off. Now there's a possible flush, possible straight out there. But as the cards lie, Benjamin Zamani has the best hand with two sevens. This could easily go check, check. Well, forget that plan. James Mackey, who was calling when he had the best hand, and now he's got the worst hand, and he's gonna try to steal the pot he's betting. Incredible play. 1.5 million into Ben, who just has sevens. Yeah, hard to call here with two sevens. All in. But look at this! Wow! He's pushed all in! Representing the flush! And he is all smiles knowing at least he thinks he stole that pot, when in fact he had the best hand. But still, an amazing play. There's Bobby Obudi rooting for Zamani. Obudi, a WPT champ, quite a player himself. Both nearly $3 million in career earnings prior to tonight. They're way surpassing that no matter where they finish here. But look at this, Vince. Neither player raised pre-flop with these hands. Amazing. Ace, three of diamonds and a pair of fours, and the flop is an eight, three deuce. Well, this could spell trouble for Benjamin here. Not going to put your opponent on a pair because he didn't raise pre-flop. Ben bets 300000 Mackey calls it with the fours, and he gets another four. Three fours for James, he checks. Benjamin falling on no traps. He checks right behind him. Now a nine comes off. Now for sure Mackey's gonna bet here. Just a matter of how much. Wow, he's betting 800,000. The pot had 1.1 million in it. Now to a pro player, that's an overbet as we say. And it brings up suspicion in you. Why is he betting so much? Is he trying to steal this pot? You know that's what Benjamin's thinking right now. And he pays him off. Because of the overbet, I believe, the bet size by Mackey paid off well for him there. Three fours taking it down. James Mackey extending his chip lead. Yeah, nice bet on the river. Oversized bet, Mackey from Kansas City, Missouri. He says he loves sports, all aspects of poker as well. The math, the psychology, the bluffing. When he's not chasing the two around, Vince, he volunteers at the animal shelter to walk dogs around. He's trying to walk the dog here a little bit and get this title. Well, here's a flop of Jack 10-6. Well, nice flop there for Benjamin, but not as good as James's flop. Both players check their pairs. James now has a flush draw to go with two jacks. Benjamin has a straight draw to go with his two tens, and it's been checked twice, so he thinks ten's easily the best hand, so he bets. 500,000. called by James Mackey. Now the river is a seven. Well, Mackey checks again, and Benjamin has checked down value in my mind here. No sense in betting. Check. That's what he's doing. So Mackey again increases his chip lead in this heads up battle. Both these guys, tough young pros that have had very successful poker careers thus far. And I look for more out of these guys in the future for sure. Well, James, this time with Ace King makes the raise to 625. Benjamin 
Could have made the call with Queen Deuce of Diamonds. Cost him 375 more. He wants to see a flop. And flop is ace, Jack 10. Folks, it could all go in the flop here. Well, you got a four flush for Benjamin. Wow, Benjamin checked the check raise with the straight and flush draw. But James's hand thought it was so big, two aces with a straight draw, he'd check right behind him. Well, Benjamin checks the term and the seven of clubs comes off, but James now bets the two aces. James gonna bet 600. I don't see Benjamin calling here. He's getting out raising chips. He was definitely gonna check raise on the flop where all the money would have gone in. And now he's check raising on the turn. Well, this is the kind of hand that you're happy to take the pot now. Knowing you're beat, but in case you don't, you got a lot of outs to win the pot. So another 1.1 million to Mackey. He makes the call. We are going to the river. And the board pairs jacks. Well, Zamani just waving the flag here. Might be afraid the guy made a full house or something, but he just checks to give it up. I don't see any purpose in Mackie betting here. What can you get paid off with that you can beat? A weak ace is all, but... You saw that, right? Chips fell. Well, he's going to bet 2.4 nevertheless. Well, he bets 2.4 million. He doesn't have to show his hand this way. Benjamin has queen high. Mackie taking down another good one. And with that pot, the antis are going up to 50,000. Blinds are 150 and three, Mike. Are you calling if I shove the flop? I don't know, I was thinking about that. Right. Sometimes you're like, you're pushing at somebody and you just know there's a point that they're gonna break and hit you back. You know, and that's, the, that's what makes it fun, trying, trying to guess when that's gonna happen. Well, it could happen a lot with this guy. Zamani, a very tough poker player, but so is Mackey. Just fun to watch these guys play. They are both top-notch players. They actually play kind of similar. Very sneaky players. Powerfully aggressive, unorthodox, really skilled. Here's a hand Benjamin would have been happy to get it all in pre-flop with, but James just makes the call, so we're going to see a flop here. Yeah, tens versus eight, six. The flop is at ace, eight, five, so Mackie gets his eights. Well, Benjamin gonna make a continuation bet, of course, with the two tens. Mackie is gonna call him with the two eights. Going to the turn, it is a deuce of hearts. Well, that could slow the players down. Mackie checking again. Now possible straight and possible flush out there, so Zamani checks right behind him. Now a queen comes off. Check. Well, again, Mackey checks. If Samani bets here, which he's doing, I swear to you, he's putting his opponent on exactly two eights here. He's betting the two tenths for value. He's not looking to steal the pot. He just knows they're the best hand right now, the way the betting is gone, and in fact, they are. Just what a value bet here, but he doesn't get paid off. Mackey's too good for that, still. An impressive value bet on the river by Zamani there. Action on Benjamin. Looks at a Jack-8 offsuit. Going to limp in on the button. James with the King-7. Not going to raise. Going to see the flop. And the flop comes Ace-King-8. James checks the two Kings. Benjamin going to bet two eights. You're never going to put your opponent on Ace for sure because he didn't raise for the flop. And probably not a King either, so... He believes eights are the best hand now, but gets called by James. Three of spades on the turn, so Mackey's still in front, and he has checked, giving the rope to Ben, and Ben's gonna bet again. He's not trying to get two kings to go out, Vince. He doesn't think his opponent's got an ace or a king in his hand. He believes the two eights with the jack kicker is the best hand. That's why I bet. I bet you're gonna call a guy with kings when he doesn't raise before the flop. He's got an ace and slow played him. Good luck to him. Down to the river, it's a nothing card, six of diamonds. I think it's gonna go check, check this round. King. And indeed it does. Mackey gonna win the pot with two kings, but I certainly can't fold Zamani the way he played that, Ann. That's one thing's for sure. 
These two young guys, both 30 years old, both terrific players. I believe we're going to see them in the future on the World Poker Tour a fair amount. They can play. They're not afraid to make moves, and I mean make moves where their tournament life is at risk. That's tough to do. All right, this time Mackey calling with 8-7. Benjamin. Now he will pop it up, makes it 900,000 to go with King-6. Well, he's going to raise with the king high, thinks it's the best hand. Indeed it is, but getting called here by James with the 8-7. 9-7 deuce is the flop. James with middle pair has outflopped his opponent. But it goes check, check. Well, the board pairs nines. Check. Benjamin checks. Be surprised if Mackey checks here. Why would you give him a free card to beat you? But he does check. Just doesn't want to get trapped for a big pot here. Now queen comes off. Now again, Zamani checks. Now Mackey's got to believe two sevens are the best hand now. No way he's going to check a third time. And he's betting 1.3 million, and Zamani goes out. Mackey increases his chip lead. Yeah, Zamani getting a little disgusted here. Things are going Mackey's way. Well, I would say, Vance, he's batting about 900 and his heads up badly. He's won about nine pots out of 10. I mean, we are in deep stretch. James Mackey, will he close it right now? He's from Kansas City, 30 years old, 10-year poker pro, the dream of a lifetime in his hands right now. Benjamin picking up a pair of fives. I'm just limping in on the button with him, Vince. Sure is. And Mackey's got a pair of eights. Wow. This wouldn't shock me if all the money gets in before the flop here, Vince. There's the raise by Mackey. All in. Come. All in, and a stop call, of course. Well, there it is. Pair over pair playing heads up. Zamani knows how unusual that is. Unfortunately for him, he's up against it. Well, there you see Blair Hankel. Good buddy of James Mackey. He used to be college roommates. Blair, quite a player himself. Sweating his buddy on tonight. And if the two eights hold up, James Mackey will be our champion. If the snowmen melt, we'll still be playing heads up for the title. Pretty close to even in chip count. Oh boy, five cards to come. Flop in the first three. Eight, seven, six, all spades. So a set for James. Benjamin open-ended. Give him a set. <laughs> nah. Well, Ben's actually got more outs now than he had before. His opponent's flopped three eights, but he has an open-ended straight draw. Four, nine, spade. Neither player has a spade in their hand. Here we go to the turn. It's another spade. Well, Jack, a spade. Now, if a spade comes on the river, they would split this pot. You like that? Five of diamonds. <laughs> You're sick. Down to the river we go. Mackey with a big chance to take home his first WPT title. Benjamin needs a four or nine or a spade to stay alive. Doesn't happen. It's a six. So eight full of sixes is going to win it for James Mackey. Vince, you got to hand it to Benjamin Zamani. Put up a great battle tonight. When the smoke clears, he's the runner up. James Mackey is our champion. Great, man. Short all day, you know. Time. Let's hear it for the winner of the WPT Choctaw Championship, James Mackey. Most poker players don't like rake, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch, no tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200 So here we go, one of the premier poker tournaments in the world, the Legends of Poker. There you see the clubwpt.com chip count. William Bo, 77 years young, our chip leader with 5.2 million. The winner will take home 615,000 for the championship. And along with the big money, he will get this beautiful Ublow watch. And he's at this point 10,000. Blinds are 30 and 60. Here we go at the Bicycle Casino. 
Action on William Vo. A fun guy. Really enjoys playing. Quickly folds his hand. The talk of the Pat Lyons folds. Benjamin Zamani won't play an 8-3. Around to Todd Peterson. Can't play that. That's well, the battle of the blinds here. I'm all in. And Pesh moving all in with King Five of Spade just to put pressure on the Brazilian, Rafael Oliveira. Yeah, and Rafael with no hand. So Pesh de Silva taking down hand number one. He is 28 years old. He's got a World Series of Poker bracelet to his name. And we move on. Pat Lyons now from the Bay Area. Very tough professional. Very confident. Quickly folds the hand. Now Zamani picking up a very attractive queen jack of hearts. This guy's been amazing, Vince. This is his third final table on the World Poker Tour. In the last year, he finished second in our first event this season. He's back again. Made the raise. Now Pesh de Silva with ace nine. Nope. Raphael on the short stack here. Also going to fold. And now the chip leader, William Vo can't pick up a hand. Zamani going to take this one. Show the first one. We can play show one every hand if you guys want. I'd be more than happy to. Winner shows one. You guys interested? Uh, what do you want? I, I want. I follow the. You're in? I, I follow you. You're very amenable okay. table. Okay. Well, this trend started last year at the best bet in Jacksonville final table that Zamani was on, finished second in that tournament. Tyler Patterson okay. won it. But everybody had fun showing one card. They're doing it again here at the bike tonight. This adds a new dimension to the final table. Vince, you like this kind of stuff. I know you like I that. I do. Too. I think he gives you extra. <laughs> <laughs> extra knowledge, what? Secrets, knowledge. If you're the better player, you can take advantage of that type of situation. Yes, I do like it. And William Vo with a pair of fours has raised. Well, I know I'm not having to show a card. <laughs> Pat Lyons going out. Benjamin also folding. And where does Todd? He looks down at ace 10. Ops to give it up. No action Locking for the eights. chip Locking lead away of Vo. I saw two. It equals eight. Well, there you go. William says, I'll show you two cards instead of one. Any card I win, I saw two, not one. Because I'm an ABC player. <laughs> William Vo, a retired teacher, born in Vietnam, now lives in Pacific Palisades. Very exciting moment for him tonight. He quickly folds the next hand. Pat Lyons also going out. Zavani now just calling with an ace 10. Todd, the accountant, lays it down. Now Pesh to Silva with an interesting six, seven of diamonds. Yeah, you know he's going to see a flop with his hand. Question is, will he raise or just call? Well, he's getting out raising chips, Vince. Yeah, he's going to put the pressure on 325 total. Raphael with a real hand pair of jacks over the top. He pushes his short stack all in. Zamani out. Unlucky, buddy. Quick call by Pesh. And there was like a million in the pot. Only cost him another 285 to make the call. Well, Vince, you got to love the action here. The Brazilian knows he's way out in front. The guy gets more than a double up if he wins this pot to get yeah. back in the thick of things. And obviously a big favor to do so. And the flop comes up a king, queen, 10. Very nice there for Raphael. Wow, am I dead? Well, is it ever? Diamonds, and six, six, seven, seven. Pretty good. <laughs> so eight, it. no, it's a diamond. Doesn't matter what diamond. Pesh <laughs> talking to himself, saying, I need a lot of luck. Well, a six comes off, he's drawing live. He hits a six or a seven on the river. It'll be back to Brazil. And the Bikini Babes. Wow. Raphael looking a little concerned now. Right. Going to the river. You have to be concerned, Vince. Yep. It's going to be a go. rude awakening to America. Oh, no. oh my god. Unbelievable. 6-6 six, six it comes to knock Raphael out of this tournament. What a brutal beat for the Brazilian. Can't get it in much better. The flop couldn't be much better. And then boom, boom, down the road you go with a horrendous beat. Taking it on the chin here at the Bicycle Casino. He's going to take home 85000 Let's go talk to the man while he's still steaming. It was a great experience to 
mas o final de, de WPT, desde por cair do jeito que caí, estava bem preparado para conseguir jogar bastante tempo, mas faz parte. Go back to the table. Benjamin Zamani now with a very strong ace queen offsuit. Just amazing. He finished second in her last event on the WPT. He's back at the final table, the very next event. He's raced to 130. Todd Peterson goes out. Pesh with just an eight deuce. Can't play that. And now William Vo. He's got the suited connectors. Yeah, he's got a nine, ten of clubs. One thirty, I go. Been raised to one thirty, so he will stick around with a call. Pat Lyons going out. I check blind. And look at that, check well, and blind. The dark check and the bet blind. Yeah, flop comes up king nine four. Nice flop for William. He's taking the lead with the middle pair. I go. And Vo making this call. I check blind. Finally checks blind again. Oh, two pair now for Vo. Benjamin too smart for that. Checks. Looking to hit the jack and the gut to make the straight. Doesn't happen as the five comes off. Williams gonna bet. Yep, a bet of 150. He's begging for a call. Can't get it. Okay, so two got. Two got heavy. I show you everything. Because if, if the loss, I don't go. I respect you. I never race. Check on. I check my and you check William Vo, the retired check. teacher from Vietnam. He's going to try to school these guys tonight, that's for sure. Action on Todd Peterson. Yeah, actually took an eight year break from poker. He's back now. Won a $400 satellite to get into this tournament. Amazing. So, what a parlay he's going to make for that money wherever he finishes. Well, he's going to raise it with the King 10, make it 175. Pesh goes out. Okay, I love you. Vo also out. Over to Pat Lyons, the self proclaimed best poker player in the Bay Area. 175, make it 350. And he's going to three bet here. Ty's playing his first pot at this final table, yet out of the small blind. Pat Lyons three bets him with a queen nine offsuit. This is playing the game. Hoping to muscle out the accountant, but he can't do so. They're going to see a flop. And flop is eight seven five. Pat with a good shot straight draw, going to make the continuation bet here. Yeah, he bets a strong five oh five. It looks like, and the accountant should be able to figure out those numbers. Well, this is the perfect example of why you want a three bet before the flop to get the last raise in. Pre flop, and then you make the continuation bet. Your opponent misses his hand 70% of the time, which is the case here for Todd. He's going to have to give it up. So aggressiveness paying off here for Pat Lyons. <laughs> he shows his queen. I hated that flop. <laughs> Two ladies. Oh, Two no. ladies. Pat is Lion Lions. <laughs> yep, we got a new name for him. That's why you play poker, because you're allowed to lie. <laughs> Pat Lyons, what a character. And now we move on. William Vo picking up a strong ace king. How much? Six go. He is just going to call, going to play it sneaky. I'm going to limp in with the ace king here. Lions and Zamani out. Now Todd Peterson with a 10-5 of hearts. Stays involved, makes this call. And Pesh with an awful 4-3. Just happy to see a flop for free. So here we go, three-way action. William Vo not taking advantage of the ace-king. And now it's going to backfire. 7-4-3, two pair for Pesh. Now Todd with a good shot straight draw checks. Pesh also checks, hoping William's going to bet, but didn't trap him. Now the nine comes off. So Todd says, well, I didn't bet on the flop. Maybe I can steal this pot by making a wager here. Playing creative. Little does he know the monster on his left. And he's going to raise. Pesh is going up to 425. Well, slow playing the ace king didn't work out. They probably would have both folded pre-flop had he raised pre-flop, but... Change gears once in a while, change it up. Pesh happy about that. 
He takes down the pack. Yeah, it's the delight of his fiance. Five players remain at the bike. We're coming back for more. Most poker players don't like break. And that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch. No tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200 Five players battling for the championship. We will go down to the table. Pat Lyons looks at his cards, ace, eight, but he won't play it. Benjamin with an awful four deuce also gets out of the way. Over to Todd Peterson on the button, looks down at King Queen, certainly gonna raise with this, I would assume. And there it is, 175,000. Right behind a pesh with a queen eight. He's got a little money in there, but folds anyhow. And now William Vo. Retired teacher with a king 10. Okay, I'm going and check light. There you go. He says his usual check blind. Let's see if it'll work for him this time. Yeah, flop comes a7-6, all clubs. Neither player has a club. And Todd with a continuation. Figures out the numbers here, <laughs> makes a bet, and... I fold. Yeah, no way William can continue with this hand. Bigger than you, right? But he shows a card. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm old man chicken. You don't know what the other one? No, the other it doesn't one matter. Even no, he, he, you so new, I, I am happy for you. Who came up with this idea? Well, it's that man on your right, Todd Benjamin Zamani, and there's Mike Shariati in the audience. Yeah, he won this event a year ago. Also became the WPT Player of the Year this past season. Now Benjamin Zamani feels he has an edge by seeing at least one card of uncalled hands, perhaps the best player at the table, taking advantage of this table, maybe. Quickly folds, Todd also going out. Around to Pesh, who was born in Sri Lanka, lives in Katy, Texas, graduated from the University of Houston, studied history and political science there. He's going to raise with just a 5-3 with the button and gets called by William. But behind them, Pat Lyons picking up ace-10. Will he get aggressive? Yes! Makes it 500,000 to go. And he's going to squeeze a bit here. Thinks his ace-10 is the best hand, which indeed it is. And Pesh is foiled, okay. folds the hand, but will get action by William. Yeah, snap call. And check light. And again, check dark by William. That's his mojo. Let's see who will get lucky on this one. The flop is a 10, six, deuce tens for Pat Lyons. Yeah, beautiful flop for Pat. Top pair, top kicker. William has checked dark, but Pat is gonna make a continuation bet. 825. Yeah, solid 825. Well, that's a big bet. Into a pot with just 1.1 million in it. You'd think you'd wanna get action with this flop with this hand. And William with nothing. Shows both card and folds the hand. Pat Lyons gonna take this one down. You know, it's kind of funny. Pat Lyons, interesting guy. When we used to be up at Bay 101, and in the crowd was one really loud person. I'm happy for you. I thought it was just a spectator. He'd be screaming at everybody, and, and I found out it was Pat Lyons. He stood out even we then. Had Pat team all <laughs> over the place. We're gonna create that in the Pat team too. Love this guy. Felt we go, Pat Lyons. From Northern Cal with a quick fold, Benjamin Zamani. Over to Todd Peterson. That's this guy is coming off an eight year break from poker. Does that mean he used to play all the time and lost his money and just decided to quit? Now he's made a comeback or who knows? <laughs> well, he has raised it and Pesh behind him with a king nine. Oh wow, he is super aggressive. Yeah, P is raising it. Makes it 385 to go. William Vo folds the hand back on the accountant. He might have picked up a little tell on Todd there. The three bet with this hand. Todd's not gonna be able to stand the heat. Todd won a four hundred dollar satellite to get in this tournament. And he's saying, boy, those guys at my satellite table are a little easier to beat than these guys at this final table. That was your best one. Yeah, he's going to lay down the hand. Strong play by Pesh. 
lifetime earnings of about 1.1 million. Also has a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. And now Benjamin Zamani, who lives in Boca Raton, Florida. Can't pick up cards tonight, he folds. Back over to Todd, out as well. Touch to Silva with just a six nine of hearts. Man, he's got to make a button raise here. 130,000. William Vogel goes out. Only one to beat is Pat Lyons, and he has a 10 7 of clubs. And he will speculate, makes this call. So 10 7 versus 9 6. And the flop is an ace, queen 8. No help to either player. Pat checks and see if Pesh can pull the trigger here. Show me one card. Yeah, Pesh makes the bet. Pat quickly folds, and Pesh shows the one card. Yep, shows the nine, which brings a grin to Pat's face. Ace nine? Maybe. Best. Maybe. That's the beauty of having to show one card. Players get more information on you. Makes the game very interesting. And we move on. Blinds at 30 and 60,000. Pat Lyons quickly folds, and now Benjamin Zamani with a decent ace nine. Samani's made about 3.2 in lifetime earnings in the poker world. Well, he's going to raise it up to 175,000. Everyone's folding. It's around to William, who with just a 9-6, but in the big blind. Well, he's going to defend. I check that. And he checks blind once again. I check that. Yep, and look at Benjamin's going to bet blind. Queen 10 deuce on the flop. No help to either player. Yeah, well, William obviously going to have a hard time to continue with this hand with that junk. A lot of pressure. No table position. No hand. Do you want to take a stab? Yeah. No. He elects to fold. Zamani going to pick this one up. Shows one card. That might be for you. <laughs> Five players battling for a championship. Winner's going to take home. About 615,000 here tonight. Action on Pesh. Pesh has an ace six of clubs. Looks like he's going to raise it up here to 130. William Vo takes a break, goes out. Pat Lyons now with ace jack of hearts. Gotta love that. Well, he's going to three bet it here to 475,000. Zamani now folds the hand. Todd, the accountant with a nothing hand, also gets out of their way, so back on Pesh. What do you do now with an A6? Out of position against the chip leader. Feels a little brutal knowing that you have to go to the bathroom. Just waiting here. Oh, I don't mind. I go into ultimate camel mode. Now Pesh gives it up. I have like a crazy system. I drink the water and I, and I store it. <laughs> So Pat Lyons is going to win the pot, Wee. increases his chip lead. Guy drinks a lot of waters and then stay here and never go to the bathroom. What the hell's going on? Self-proclaimed <laughs> camel at the table. Boy, he has a very good catheter. <laughs> Not sure, but <laughs> what a character. Blinds are up to 40 and 80,000 now, Mike, with a $10,000 ante, and action's right back on Pat. Yeah, looks down at a king-queen offsuit. Race. He's going to raise it. Looks like 205,000. Yep, Ben going out. And now Todd Peterson with A7. Does he want to wake up? And is in position, but you just don't want to call a raise with that hand. He gets out of the way. Pesh with a king three also gets out of the way. Oh, five. I go. So back on William, who has a pretty solid ace 10 of clubs. Certainly going to make the call here, at least, Two out of, of the big blind. I'm going. Yeah, I check that. Oh, he doesn't want to punish him, doesn't re-raise, but checks blind again. Well, Pat doesn't bet blind. Like the guy next to him, Zamani does, Oof. but he loves this flop, the top two pair. Pat Lyons hitting kings and queens. And he will come out with the continuation of 205. Vo is going to stick around, makes this call. Well, you can't blame him for calling here. He's got a gut shot straight draw, backdoor flush draw. You call, you might slow your opponent down. Let's see what happens on the turn. Mm. Well, it's the nuts for Pat. 
Hey, William drawn completely dead. He checked. And I'm surprised Pat didn't check here. But he obviously knows William better than I do. Because he bet 505000 and got called by a man drawn dead. Lo just doesn't want to hit here, that's for sure. Five of diamonds that's doesn't it. hit, so he checks again. Yeah, sometimes you're better off when you miss your draw. Right. This is one of those times for William. Pat putting out, oh, two million. And Vo, just because he'd been pushed around so much tonight by guys on his left, got stubborn here. Well, Vance, two million, a very big bet here. The pot's only got 1.9 million in it. Pat it. bet sizing here to try to represent a bluff. Yeah, and finally, William Vo does the right thing, lays it down. Pat Lyon's going to pick up the pot. Five players remain. Most poker players don't like break, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch. No tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to $1,200. Five players battling for this championship as we go to the felt. Action's going to be on Todd Peterson. Yeah, an accountant by trade. Got in this tournament by winning a $400 satellite. So he's going to make a great parlay wherever he finishes. Yeah, he's going to raise the blinds of 40 and 80,000. A couple folds behind him. And now it's around to Pat Lyons with just a 6 7. Nope, he won't play that. Only one to beat is Benjamin Zamani. He can't play either, so Todd, a quick pick up there, and he shows one card. Should we just do that till there's like three or four left? That game? Show or the card. Then we can reevaluate depending yeah. on the remaining players. Seems fine. Okay. No, just keep showing it. Well, Vince, we need to explain. They agreed to show one point. card each Heads up. if they win the pot. Off. Now they're changing yeah. the deal, maybe. Keep showing it. It's gonna be I'll, good I'll rediscuss it at three, three, three people. You guys can agree and then back out, I guess. You know what's kind of cool? If I win this thing, it's going to blow up the poker world like you've never seen. Because <laughs> if Pat Lyons can win the Legends of Poker, they're going to think anybody can win. Huh. What Moneymaker did to poker will be nothing what world famous <laughs> Pat Lyons can do to poker. Oh, Trust me. He's Just confident. The game. <laughs> has the no, has no roars. sports betting problem. We Just keeps going. 230. Ace Queen, he's gonna make it 230,000 with that attractive hand. Those kind of hands make you a little more talkative. It's kind of funny. Benjamin and it's Todd out. Pesh De Silva from no Katy, Texas. If that guy is a WPT I'm rush, I'm on a rush right now. Are you have I'm on a rush. I'm, I'm the sorry. good player I'm sorry. can uh, ex do it. William Vo is upset now that Pat Lyons is talking all the time. I'm so sorry, 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 sorry. I'm so surprised, please, you can ask the idea, opinion of a tournament director before this I continue. This is right here. William, it's your turn. I've, I've, been, I've been told. To make sure he has stopped from now. I've been told. Yeah. It's your turn. It's your I turn. I know that, sir. Okay. It's not about the cheap. It's not about the win, but to enjoy poker. Yeah, you can talk between hands, though. That's on that. William, and he is on tilt My now. I really am enjoying talking to, talking to players. And he's going to lay down the I'm king nine. Getting the same yeah. card. Yeah. Same card. And same Pat card. is not going to change his style. Now to make sure that they stop. Oh, I will really, I will leave uh, the no, tournament no, 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 right no. now. If He's threatening to get up and leave. Time. Please. Well, very surprising. They gotta, me. Please, you can ask the They can't make up new rules. Yeah. They gotta play by the rules. Yeah. I don't think he's doing anything wrong. So no. let's just, he let's that just play. Player so cannot no. talk with the audience. That's it. Well, they've been talking good. Well, fun. What do you make of that, Mike? Yeah. Well, I'm surprised by William Vo, to be honest. Normally, he's a very happy go lucky guy at the table, and all of a sudden, he's completely turned the corner here on Pat Lyon, saying you can't talk to the crowd, you're talking too much, and he's getting upset by it. And I don't think Pat's done anything wrong, really. A lot of commotion at the table, and he just wants to win a pot every now and then. He just doesn't like it. Pat don't even like his ace, and he gives a walk. And look at this, Pat. Who, who is this guy? Gonna, <laughs> who is this guy? It's you, sir. Who is he? He gives a walk <laughs> with an ace? He gives a walk with an ace? With an ace? An ace, he gives a walk? Why? Why? Why does he play like that? He just plays too, he's tidy whitey. This is crazy. 
Oh, oh my gosh. Crazy is oh the right God. word. He's more interested in uh, being the center of attention than he is winning. <laughs> hey, if that's why he plays these, more power to him. And I have to take a little break, let them, let them play. We can lose a little bit of rounds. Well, Vince, William told him not talk anymore. He's talking more than ever. He's showing him an ace, folding in the small blind as a chip leader. All right, we'll get back to the table. Todd Peterson now with the button has an A6. He's from Vegas, and he is going to raise with the A6. 225 to go. Behind him is Pesh with a 4-3 of hearts. Well, we've seen Pesh three-bet him out of the small blind before when Todd has raised on the button. Well, as you can see by the three in the graphic, Pesh three bets here. William folds the hand. Pesh has one World Series of Poker bracelet to his name. Very experienced young player. He must have a tell on Todd. Just feels like he can take the pot away from him by three betting him all the time pre-flop. And he's going to push Todd out. So aggressive play by Pesh to Silva paying off for him. With just a 4-3. We are completely in everybody's heads. The showing the ace blew them away. He's in the small blind. Anybody's going to raise an ace. Whoever sees the hole cards is going to love it because I'm having pocket pairs, mucking pocket pairs, not even calling. I've pulled some masterful bluffs on these guys. These guys have no idea. I'm in all of their heads. Whether they admit it or not, they're going to have the total tidy white guy, tight white guy, tidy whitey. I've put that planted seeds in their heads. I will win the ledges of poker. I will have my picture on the wall. I'll get the cool ass Hublot watch that's red and black. I'm always red and black. And we're going to get the trophy and then the money. And then we're going to go to the next WPT event, which is Borgata. So we're on the West Coast kicking their ass. We're going to go kick ass on the, um, kick ass on the East Coast. <laughs> I just want what he's drinking. Well, this guy's the Babe Ruth of poker. He's calling his shot. Five players left. He's already put the crown on his head, Vince. The guy does not lack confidence. Let me go back to the table. And we got a raise here by Todd. Uh, got the ace-8 offsuit this time. Echo. And William Vo is going to make this call out of the small blind. Yeah, Pat Lyons is gone, so he obviously folding out of the big blind. See if William can finally get lucky with something. Well, he's flopped a gut shot straight draw here, but his opponent's flopped top pair, top kicker. Me, I check. William is going to check. And Todd with the continuation bet. Continue. Beautiful flop for him. Echo. It looks like 225, and look at this. William's going to stick around. Three of clubs on the turn does not help William. I check. Well, he checks again. And Todd bets again, this time 400,000. And shockingly, William going to call him again here. Might think he's only got a gut shot straight to win this pot. Now a deuce comes off. William just doesn't get there, but look at this. He's going to take a stab wow. at it. He's going to try to bluff it. 1.4 million. That is a big bet into the accountant. Well, Vince, it's just very simple. You put the guy on a 4-5 or you don't. That's the only hand that's going to beat you. He didn't raise before the flop. Didn't take aggressive action on the flop or the turn. All of a sudden, going to move in on the river. So it looks like he's got the 4-5 or, or nothing to me. I think it's going to be tough to get away from his hand. Wow. Well, Todd does make the call, and he's going to win this pot. So, Vince, you just wonder if William's gotten too upset, if he's just gotten off track, if he's not playing so good here. It was a tough one. I never tanked that long. That was a good bet. Good for you. <laughs> well, now he has wandered back to the table. And he just doesn't care that William is upset by him. Pat Lyons is going to play his way today. He's the chip leader. He's back at the table. Blinds are 40 and 80, and action's going to Todd. He's got a miserable four deuce. He'll take a break. Well, Pesh looks at the King Jack. Looks like he's going to raise with this. Yeah, he does. 160 to go. And now William with a strong ace king. Well, surely he's going to raise this time. Oh, boy. No, he's just going to call. Just calls, Vince. We saw him limp in with ace king earlier at this final table. Well, sometimes this kind of play works, but most of the time. Well, Vince, what it does is invite the blinds to come in the pot as well. It sure does. So now there's more players in the pot. 
Meaning you have to catch an ace or a king to probably win the pot. Right, William is overdue to hit something. See if he can do it. It's a no, Jack, eight, three. That could be a problem for Benjamin. He's flopped middle pair. Pace has flopped top pair, and he's gonna bet. William has flopped no pair. And if you don't re-raise with the ace-king before the flop, wouldn't you think you just abandoned ship here? But no, William gonna make the call. Benjamin gets out of the way. Well, William just compounding his mistakes, perhaps, in this hand. Let's see if he can do anything on the turn. No queen of spades. Well, now he has the ace-high straight draw, does William, but action on Pesh. Will Pesh bet again? Well, you're afraid of the queen, Vince. Also afraid your opponent could possibly have 9-10, but he's going to bet anyway. <laughs> Find out where he's at. And William is in tilt town here. Uh-oh. He's doing it. Man, he's a big dog at this point. Going to the river. Let's see if we can get lucky. No, deuce of hearts. Well, Pesh knows that card does not help him. Now, was he trapping him on the turn is what Pesh is trying to figure out. All in. Okay, he's going to push all of William's money in. There's wow. only about 600000 left. Now, William came in as the chip leader with over $5 million. He has been whittled down. He's disintegrating. He is unhinged. And Vance, honestly... He has called all his money off at this final table. Hasn't bet it off. He's called it off. Yeah, he has. Never been able to hit one hand. So it's not all his fault, but everything going the wrong way, and this would just cement it if he should make this call be knocked out in fifth place. Echo. Oh, no. It's over. He is called okay. to hand. Well, that is going to do it for William Vo. Yeah. Pesh De Silva taking down that pot to knock William Vo out of this tournament. But Vince, what a delight the guy's been all week long. The old Brunson told me if this guy won the tournament, he's coming back out of retirement. Go so you're safe for right now. Nice ovation for William Bo. Since he made a good effort, but just today wasn't his day. Nothing developed for him here at this final table tonight. That's going to wrap it up. Bo must go. Going to take home 113,000. What a player. What an effort. Let's talk to him. Hey, thank you for everybody on the act. Thank you, all the crew. Give me the wonderful night. And that is the souvenir of the rest of my life. Thank you. Still love myself. <laughs> right now we are down to four players at the bike. Chip leader is Pesh De Silva with 7.2 million. Pat Lyons in second chip position with about seven. Yeah, Pesh taking the lead after knocking William Vo out. And Vince, I got to say in the history of the WPT, I think that was the happiest fifth place finisher we've ever seen. All right, we move on to this hand. Pat has raised with ace-10. Let's see if Todd Peterson calls us. He has an ace-7. No, he will not. And Pesh now with the same hand, ace-10 of clubs. Now, these are the two chip leaders. It's going to be interesting to see how they play the same hand against each other. Well, Pesh is just going to call it. So ace-10 versus ace-10. Well, flop is 988 with two diamonds. Pesh is going to check. Comes a continuation bet by Pat. He's got the key card, the ace of diamonds, of course. Going to bet 315,000. But Pesh going to send him a message. Just because you make a C bet doesn't mean you're going to win the pot, pal. That's right. He makes this call. All of a sudden, Pat is very quiet. Deuce of diamonds on the turn. Gives a big four flush there for Pat Lyons. Yeah. Pesh is going to check. There's the cards lie. Pat's on a free roll here. He doesn't know it, of course. But he's not slowing down either. He's getting out betting chips. A lot of people would check this here. Just to see if they hit the diamond. They wouldn't want to get check raised out of the pot. Well, Pat's going to bet 5.30. He is the self-proclaimed best player in the Bay Area. And he wants to prove it here tonight. Well, Pesh has been very good at reading players so far at this final table. Nice hand. And he's going to give this one up. Yep. So Pat Lyons shows the ace of diamonds. Uh, I don't know 
why you would show that card. I was showing the other one. There you go, Pat Lyons taking down that pot, and now with that pot, he becomes the new chip leader, and the blinds are going up to 50 and 100 with a $10,000 Annie. Pat Lyons folds Ben out as well. So battle of the blinds here. Todd's got ace high in the small blind. And just calls, does not raise with it. And Pesh chooses not to raise with the king eight of clubs. So we're gonna have a flop here. Flops wow. at ace, ace seven, three of a kind for Todd Peterson. Well, you're gonna see a lot of fireworks here, Vince. Todd is going to bet, but Pesh is not going to put him on an ace because he didn't raise pre-flop. And even if he does, he's got the nut flush draw. Well, Todd's bet the 150 with three of a kind. Pesh with the four flush makes the call. Let's see if Pesh can hit his club. Nope, not there. Five of spade. Now, Todd thinking the guy might have two sevens. Going to call me again, so he's going to bet again. This time, 450,000. Pesh is going to make this call, hoping to hit a club. Down to the river we go. And it is not a club. It's actually a four, which gives Todd a full house, of course. Uh, Todd feeling a lot better about his hand now. He felt pretty good about it. Now he feels really good about it. And this time he's going to bet 1.9 million into a pot that has 1.4 million in it. So he's trying to make it look like he's bluffing with aces full. A lot of disappointment for Pesh on this hand. Just couldn't quite get there, and he finally has to muck the hand. Whatever you do, don't show the ace. ace. No matter what, don't show the ace. Okay. And he does not show the ace, of course. Really had to show the four. Six, four. Ace, four. As we move on, Pesh to Silva now with the button. He's got just a three deuce of spades but that won't slow him down. He'll make the raise. Now, Pesh has shown some aggressiveness at this final table, and it's paid off for him. Let's see if he continues in that same vein. Pat goes out, and now Zamani with an ace four. All in. All in. Well, 1.8 million in chips. He shipped it all with the ace high here. What a play by Zamani. Definitely going to win the pot, as his opponent was defenseless. I could beat that. But a nice all-in bet there by Benjamin. The pushing continues at the bike. We're coming back with more action here on the WPT. As he predicted he would, and cross the finish line with the trophy. Action's on young Pesh to Silva. He's got an ace 10. Blinds are 50 and 100, and he will move it up to 205 to total. Pat Lyons folds. Benjamin not going to play deuces on the short stack. Over to Todd. Now he's got two fives. Now many players would three bet with this hand. Todd opting to call it and look at a flop first. And the first three are a king, nine, four, all hearts. Well, no help to Todd, obviously. Pesh has the nut flush draw. Yeah, Todd is going to check the little pair of fives and Pesh betting into him, 185. Oh, I played this one like a girl. Yeah, I think a lot of players would have played it the same way. The ultra-aggressive players would have three-bet pre-flop, bet on the flop, and seen what happens. That's not a, that's not a bluff. That's too good a card. That's not a bluff. And I think Pesh showed the ace of hearts. These are restroom. I'll miss a blind. Yeah, my, yeah, my back's bugging a little yeah, bit. Here that's we go. I can kind of walk. Pat walk Lyons on another break. Vince, what does he do behind that curtain? Just walk. No, I walk. The water chuggler just had to go to the restroom. Okay. Two and two does equal four. <laughs> it's funny when you're chip leader, it's easier to go to the restroom. You're on a short stack. You just can't afford to go. I think there's a correlation. Uh, there's nothing like those walkabouts when you have a lot of chips. Todd Peterson on the button with the 7-4 hearts. Now remember, the big blind's not sitting there. It's a precarious situation. So you're only going to beat one guy, but you just give it up. He's been beat up so bad when he's raised on the button by Pesh to Silva that he's now letting the suited cards go. Nine is probably better than both your cards, huh? 
It was. <laughs> Well, we had 687 total entries in the event. Each player had to put up 4,000 for that entry. Yeah, Vince, ironically, out of the four remaining players, Todd Peterson played a satellite long before the tournament started to win his seat. Pat Lyons, on the other hand, was the very last entry to get in the tournament. They're both still alive. Who will become the next champion? Action's back on Benjamin, and he can't play any cards right now. Folds the hand. Todd Peterson now with a queen eight. Well, Todd... Going to raise it on the button and hold his breath. He's going to make it 250 oh. to go. Oh, my goodness. This one's not going to work either. <laughs> oh, man. Pesh has picked up the weapons of mass destruction. The pair of aces. Now, this is not going to be a big three bet, but definitely is going to be one. Boom. 685. Well, pretty good size one. Pat Lyons goes out. And Todd is going to feel like he's getting manhandled by mm -hmm. Pesh. Mm -hmm. Now, the last couple times, Pesh didn't have anywhere near that strong a hand when he three bet him, but he gives this hand up anyway. But I can tell you, he's getting tired of raising on the button and getting re raised by the blind. It's that same ace of clubs. How do you like that? Pesh to Silva looking good right now. Most poker players don't like rake, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch. No tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200. We move on, quick fold by Pat Lyons. If you want me to give you a chip count, I no, can no. give you a chip And now count. our short stack, Benjamin. I could, I could guesstimate myself. Will not gamble with this one, goes out. Todd Peterson now with King Seven. And he has just called Pesh now, looks down as a queen. Nine. And so I'm certain Todd just called in the small blind here with this hand because he's been pummeled by this guy. It's Every right. Every time he raises, he gets re-raised. Here he was going to call the raise, but he just didn't want to go for three bets, so he limped in. And the flop is a jack-jack ten. And with two hearts. Pesh with an open-ended straight draw. Todd just slowing down, not giving any action, checks it. Well, Pesh is going to bet the draw. Bets 100,000. And Todd going to make this call. A little surprised by this. He just wants a little revenge against Pesh, hoping to get lucky. It's a king. He gets lucky, but not really because Pesh hits the straight. It's a nightmare card for him, Ben. It certainly is. Todd checks it. It's the best card Todd could catch, the best card Pesh could catch, and that's bad news for Todd. Coolly going to bet 335. Todd with the insta call, thinking he's in front. Little does he know. That's when you call a bet on the flop and hit a king, you're not going out here. Nope. River card, Todd could fill up though. Nope, five of clubs. Well, Todd checks again. About 1.1 million in the pot. Pesh getting out nearly a pot size bet. Yeah, he's going for the juggler. Just about a million. Call. Oh, insta call by Todd. Well, he is not going to like it when he sees Pesh's hand here, but well, that's what happens. That? Well, that is a devastating blow there for Todd Peterson. Pesh just taking advantage, the crowd loving it. Pesh's fiance really enjoying the moment. As we go down to the felt, action on Pesh. He's got a World Series of Poker bracelet to his credit. Been very aggressive here today. Making excellent reads on his opponents. He's going to raise it here with an ace-deuce to 205,000 goes out and now Benjamin who hasn't picked up too many good hands has a king queen all in. and he's going to just shove all in wow what an all in bet here Todd goes out so back on Pash who actually hasn't beat ace high I'll show one and he's going to lay show it eight. down <laughs> wow he showed the ace yeah Bag. <laughs> so Benjamin, very happy to see the guy lay down an ace, that's for sure. Benjamin's been very patient. Back to back final tables here in season 15. If you guys want to order drinks, I'll buy a round for anybody in the whole place here. Oh boy, how do you like that? 
Oh, there's a sport. Pat just, Pat just bought himself some new friends. <laughs> I I'm serious. Oh. I, will, I, will treat, I will treat you guys if you guys want. <laughs> Trust me, they want. I'm just, I mean, all, those, all, of the, all of the fans become the Pat Lyons fans. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, back huh? to this hand. Yeah, have, it, have whatever you want. I'll buy it. Todd yep. Peterson has limped in on the button here. All in. All in. Wow. Pesh has gone all in over the top of him. All in. And it is unbelievable how Pesh has owned Todd Peterson at this final table. Anybody that wants drinks. Anybody that wants drinks. Anybody. Usually you wait till you win the tournament to buy the drinks, Vince, but he's predicted he's going to win it, so why not buy the drinks early? Yeah, he's confident. And we move on. Todd with a quick fold, and now Pesh with Jack-10. He'll make it 2.05 to go, and Pat Lyons with an attractive queen-10 of spades. And he's going to make the call. See if Benjamin can join the party. Nope. So the two chip leaders going at it again. That's right, Pesh with the button, so he has position over Pat Lyons with Queen-10 of spades, and the flop is a King-9-5. Both players with a gut shot straight draw, and both players with a backdoor flush draw. Pat Lyons has checked. Well, Pesh is going to bet 185. Now Pat's going to look him up here. And the ace of spades helps Pat a bit with the four flush as well. He is leading right out into the pre-flop raiser and the flop better. Bets 400,000 into a 920,000 pot. Now, this sends a message to Pesh that he's got something. So I don't know how you continue with just a gut shot straight draw here. And he does and he gives it up. Yep, so the very popular Pat Lyons taking down that pot. I'm doing better than Twitter. I'm getting followers in the room. This is fun. Wow. 3.6. And Mike, the Andy's now going up to 20,000. Blinds are 60 and 120. And action on the chip leader, Pesh da Silva. He's got 8.3 million. He's got ace four, and he will raise to 250,000. And the two most aggressive players at the table have been Pesh and Pat. They're the two chip leaders. There is a correlation. Pat and Ben both go out. Now, Todd Peterson, he has been the punching bag of Pesh all night long. He's got queen five of spades. Every time he bets, he seems to get raised by him, and now he's calling a raise. Can I see how many uh, 100Ks you have? I started out 1.6. Thank you. I think he's just trying to beat so Pesh so bad. He hasn't beat him one hand at this entire final table. He has been owned by him, and this flop is not going to help him any. 993. He checks. Comes a continuation bet, although not a big one, 185,000. That's a tough board to shove on. It's going to be enough to get the job done as Todd has to give it up. Yep, and you could boil a pot of coffee on Todd's head right now. Got to be frustrated by Pesh all night long. It's amazing how sometimes just one player owns you at the table, isn't it, Vince? Yeah, Tonight, so true. Pesh owns Todd, no doubt about it. Yep. We move on. Pat Lyons now with a very strong ace queen. Calls himself the Flying Lion. And he comes in for 300,000 here. Zamani out. Todd out. And Pesh has been running good. See what he's going to do with the Jack 10 here. And he makes the call here. Yeah, with Jack-10, hoping to get lucky. We have the two big chip leaders playing this pot. No help to any of them as it comes King-7 deuce. Pass checks and a quick continuation bet by Pat. Yeah, 300,000, but Pesh getting out chips. With Jack high, he wow. will make this call. Now that's interesting, Vince. It tells me he's going to try to steal this pot somewhere along the route. Uh, three of clubs comes off. And he is checking it. Pat is not going to slow down, though. Another 300,000. 
That's a small bet into a pot that's got 1.3 million in events. What we call a post oak bluff where you bet small into a big pot. If Pesh can read it, he'll raise it and take the pot away from him. He was setting him up for that play, but opted not to make it. Folds his hand, and Pat Lyons taking down the pot. Nice hand. Did everybody get their drink in the house? Because Pesh and I have a contest. Whichever one of us gets to 10 million first, that guy is buying the next round. Huh, Pesh? 10 million real dollars? Sure. No, no. No. The players are playing for 1.2 million different things. It's like, I'll buy it. The ledges of poker, we are down to four players, Mike. Two players have a lot of chips. Two players are short on chips. Pesh to Silva, Pat Lyons out in front. Benjamin Zamani and Todd Peterson on the short stacks. Going to the table, action's going to be on Todd Peterson. Well, he's only got 10 big blinds, Vince, and he's shipping it right here with the Jack Nine of Diamonds. How much is it? Well, Pesh has owned this guy all night long, and I mean owned him, but he's going to opt to give up the ace five here. Yeah, Pat Lyons now. I wish that he hadn't gone all in so I could make some fun out of the game, but now, now we have to play like we know what we're doing. Gosh, damn it. Nice bet, Todd. He's gonna go out, of course. And now Benjamin with ace nine. He's on a short stack as well. He does make the call and it's the right one. Well, the two short stacks battling. Benjamin Zamani has him dominated right here. Ace nine to jack nine. Ben gonna be feeling very good right now. Todd Peterson, nothing went right the whole night. He needs a long shot hit here. And here's the flop. It is a jack nine king. So two pair for Todd. Benjamin must catch an ace now to win this pot or a running queen and a 10. Great flop for Todd. Deuce of hearts, very safe for Todd. We are down to the river. Benjamin Zamani must catch an ace on the river to win this pot. Otherwise, Todd Peterson will double up. Three outer for Benjamin. Can he get it? Not the base six of clubs. Well, tough luck for Zamani there. Had his opponent dominated, but his opponent snuck out, outdrew him, won the pot, doubled up. We still have four left. Anything can happen, and it is here at the bike here tonight. On we go, Pesh this time with King Jack. I'm getting out raising chips. Makes it 250 total. 250? Oh. Into Pat's pair of tens. Make it 850. Wow. Well, he raised it up to 850,000, a healthy raise. Benjamin gets out of their way, and now Todd looks down at an ace queen. Well, do you want to get involved with this hand after a raise and a re raise? All in. All in. And he is just going to shove all in. Well, he just got lucky the last pot to double up, so he's going to press his luck here. If he can win back-to-back -back pots. Pulling 850. One down, but Pat, with the tens, it's only an additional 1.6. Almost 100% we're going to see something happen here, guys, just so you know. You would think the chips would already be in, but... Yeah, that pretty much means he's calling for sure. If I win this pot, the place is going to get drinks. You do know that, right? <laughs> Ultimate bartender. I'm holding pocket tens. There you go. Only tens. Well, he's made the call, so we're going to have a race here. The two over cards for Todd, the two tens for Pat. Let's see who gets lucky and wins the race. Can I win a coin flip? Let's see. Yeah. Todd has not been that lucky with the cards tonight so far. He's hung around. Can he get lucky Aye on ya. this flop? Aye oh, ya. he does so. Aye Queen ya. right on the flop. Well, again, Todd getting lucky when he's all in. Wow. He won with a jack nine against an ace nine to stay alive. Now, so far, he's well out in front in this race. Pat looking disillusioned here. Could come diamond, diamond, or Pat could win the pot. Turned card, five now of clubs. Down, now we're down to two outs. No 10, and I'll buy drinks the rest of the night. <laughs> I bet you will. I'm going to steal your fans. <laughs> Looking very happy and confident. <laughs> this has to sweat a two outer to double up. Show me, show me the river. Down to the river we go. One time. Yes! Oh!
The worst hand getting there time and time again at this final table when somebody's all in. Well, he might have to take another eight years off after that beat. Really tough luck for Todd Peterson. It's a dagger in the heart to lose to a two-outer on the river. Let's go talk to him before the beer and the tears hit him. Kind of finished the way I thought it might. You know, I thought this would be the final four, and you know, those are the three toughest players probably. Most poker players don't like rake, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch. No tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200. There you see the clubwpt.com chip count. Pat Lyons with about 11 million. Pesh De Silva with 8 million. Benjamin Zamani with 1.6. Yeah, and Mike, the winner's going to take home 615,000 here at the bike. Also gets the beautiful U Blow watch, as you can see right there. The antis at this point are 20,000. The blinds are 60 and 120. Let's go to the felt. Action on Benjamin Zamani. He quickly folds his hand, and now Pesh De Silva with a queen three. He likes to just call. Pat Lyons. I'm very happy to see a flop with a jack three. Flop is a king, queen seven, so queens for Pesh. Well, he checks him. Pat getting none of that checks as well. Six of spades on the turn. You got it. Pesh just reaches for Chip, and Pat says, you got it. Yeah, that's the way it goes, Pesh to Silva. You want to you do three and you want to keep it going? Um, it's, okay. it's up to you. No, let's end it. What if we do this? Let's, let's make one rule. If you win the pot on the river, then you show. If we're going to end it, let's just end it. Huh? End it, end it. Okay. Well, what they're talking about is when this final table started, everybody agreed to show one card after they won a pot. Now we've gotten down to three-handed. They changed the rules, Vince. They're not showing them anymore. Yeah. What do you think of that? I don't like it, actually, to tell you the truth. Now the three players are gone. They're going to change the rule like that. Uh, they said they're going to have to show one uncalled card if you won, and that meant throughout the entirety. Well, Zaman is looking to show them all here as he moves in. Okay. With the king-queen. He takes down the pot real quick, though. With the three-bet all-in wins for Zamani who finished second in our kickoff event of season 15 here in the WPT at Choctaw, back at the final table, still here with three left. And now Pat Lyons picks up his pair of tens. Been a good hand for him tonight, and he has raised a 375. Whoa, Zamani's going to push all in with ace four. Insta call, of course, by Pat. Tens, tens, tens. I had a 10 out of four. What? Pat Lyons in a great place to knock out Zamani. Now has him dominated right now, as you can see. About a 70% favorite to win the pot. Here is the flop. Well, that's good for Pat Lyons as a queen, queen six appears. Pat now an 85% favorite to win the pot with the two tens. Uh, the turn card is a jack. Well, a jack now would win the pot for Benzamani. He can now win with an ace or a jack. Think, think, think. This is true. Coming down the river. What drama? Oh, oh, an ace on the river. Again, a draw out on the river here at the Legends of Poker. It's just incredible. What the heck is going How on? How many suckouts on the river have taken place at this final table tonight? So there you go, the dominating favorite, all the way to the river vent, and then bam, the dagger in the heart. And that's just the boost that Ben Zamani is looking for to get back in the thick of things here. Don't count him out, Vince. Annie's are now 20,000, and the blinds are at 80 and 160. Well, Vince, Pat Lyons hit a two-outer on the river when he spiked a 10 to make three tenths to knock Todd Peterson out of the tournament, so can't really complain that he was really that unlucky there. All right, Ben, 
with Ace Eight just calling. And right behind him now, Pesh. He's going to raise it. All in. All in. And now Benjamin says, I'm all in. And Pesh has to go away. Well, a nice all in bet by Zamani there. And it's moving fast. These guys are playing fast. Lots of gamble. Pesh finally gets burned with a junk hand. Well, Pesh's been very aggressive. That's why he's doing very well tonight. But he's wishing right now we'd have seen a free flop instead of raise there. It's on him. He's got a solid king nine of diamonds. But he's just going to call it. Disguise the strength of that hand. And behind him, Pat with ace four. 600. We'll make it 600 to go. Benjamin looks down at a nothing hand. And he mucks. So ace four versus king nine. Well, I don't see Pesh going anywhere. Pat's not going to put him on this strong a hand. You would expect the guy to raise pre-flop with this hand on absolutely, the button. Absolutely, absolutely. He's made this call. And the flop is a queen, seven, deuce. No help to either player. Six. Pat Lyons betting 600,000, though, with ace high. Well, it's the perfect time to raise here if you can pull the trigger with your pesh. Because it's very difficult to continue playing with any hand if it doesn't be queens or better in this situation. Against a guy with a lot of chips, but he opted to just lay it down, give it up, wait for a better hand before it goes to war. Well, that's the credit of Pat Lyons being so unpredictable. Nice little comeback he's made. And he has a queen three. Doesn't seem to like it, folds. And now Pesh with a nothing hand. And he wants to get in cheap, just makes a call. And Pat will take a look down at ace five. Well, it doesn't raise out of the big blind with the ace high after his opponent limped in the Wee. small blind. He was always, always in the barrier. And the flop is a four, four, seven, three of a kind for Pesh. Wow. What a flop. Well, this is what happens when you get cute. You don't raise pre-flop with ace highs. Well, Pesh has bet 175, quickly called by Pat Lyons. Turn three of diamonds. Gives Pat a two-way straight draw. One of them, of course, gives his opponent a full house, so that's no good for him. But Pesh leading out on the turn again, this time 515,000. And going to be a quick call here by Pat. As the cards lie, he can only win the pot with a six. River card is a jack of clubs. Three clubs out there now. Uh, Pesh trying to get a value bet in here with three fours. Uh, he's bet 895,000. I'm all in. And a snap all in by Pat Lyons. Fest, what a play by Pat Lyons here. Remember, if Pesh would call and lose this pot, he's out of this tournament. Now, he has three fours, but when your opponent raises you all in, you put him on a flush, a straight. What if you have a higher flush than me, huh? Or a full house. Well, Vance, I don't care who you're pulling for at this final table. If you like poker, you got to admire that play that Pat Lyon just made. Wow, and Pesh is going to lay this down. What a move by Pat Lyons to steal that pot. Vance, sometimes you just get outplayed. There was a case. Pat Lyons outplayed his opponent. Well done. I lift with a really big hand. Down to the felt we go. Action on Pesh de Silva. Very talented player. He has picked up a pair of aces. How sweet it is. He's on the button in position with the best hand possible. Going to raise it to 325,000. All in. Pat Lyons with a pair of jacks has gone all in. Ben out. Nice. Quick call, of course, by Pesh. Nice hand. Nice hand. Nice hand. Nice hand. Jacks. Jacks and Jacks. Super hand over super hand. Three-handed poker game. Just incredible. 
Well, Vance, we've seen so many outdraws at this final table tonight, you just can't be sure that the aces will hold up, but you have to love it if you're Pesh to Silva. He's been going down, 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 and now he's got a shot to boom right to the chip lead if the aces hold up. Kind of a cooler, huh? Jack ball. Here comes the flop. It's a 7-3 deuce. Very safe for the aces. Yeah, notice Pesh has both flush draws cut off as well. I'd still be betting after the flop, so, oh well. I would just be monitoring the pot. Sad. <laughs> yeah, you can't second guess this one, Jack Pat. You just need to get real lucky. Ace, nice and hand. ace on the turn. Nice hand, nice hand. That's going to do it for this hand. Pesh is going to take this one. Nice hand, nice hand. There's his fiance, so excited. Yeah. No drama on the river here. With that pot, Pesh de Silva takes the chip lead with three players left. It's just a cooler. I just, I just wake yeah, up with a hand. Yeah, it's a stone cooler. There's nothing yeah, I get a hand. That. The board comes like that. I mean, what am I going to do? I'm going to bet. I'm going to raise you. You're going to flap me. The board's going to come like that. I'm going to bet you're going to raise me. It's, it's, I I'll only slow down on the river. Do I mean, not protest too, too much there. <laughs> just doesn't matter, Pat. Wow. Well, he's just rambling, Vince. Yeah. Go behind the black curtain again. Take a deep breath. I'll come back. Yeah, you will. Guaranteed I'll come back. Wow. <laughs> Pat Lyons does not <laughs> lack confidence, I can tell you. Yeah, he yeah. makes Phil Helmuth look like a kindergartner when it comes to bragging about himself. <laughs> These are tough, tough players. Great heart by all. And now on to the next one. Pesh this time with a little pair of threes. Just limps in with them. And there's the big raise by Pat. Yeah, Pat's made it 785 total. Pesh now with about 11 million. Can afford to make a move here, but what do you do with two threes now? I know many top aggressive players like a pass would move in, but he opts to just give them up here. Oh. And Pat showing the ace. How good was it though? Ace Jack. So you were calling it all in? Of course. No, he's lying again. I would not risk you have the chip lead over me right now, I would keep it if I, re if I can retrieve it again. I mean, you saw how hard it is for me to give up the chips. I have to have jacks and aces. Ridiculous. I'm wondering if I could have done something different. I'm like, getting dizzy just hearing him. Well, Pesh <laughs> wanted to know, could you call a shove there? And he said yes, for sure. But he also said he had the ace jack, Vince, which is a story. There's no way he would have called an all-in bet with the ace six there, I don't believe. But we'll never know. <laughs> we move on. Action back on Mr. De Silva, this time with a king, queen, and the button. Well, Pesh going to make a button raise this time to 325,000. Pat goes out. And Zamani squeezes the pair of tens. All in. And he is going to shove it. Well, tough decision for Pesh now. It costs him about 2.5 million more to call. And you could be in a race. You could be dominated here. And if your opponent has a weak ace or an underdog. But he could be making a move. I call. Pesh has made the call, so we're going to have a race. Pesh with the overcard. Zamani out in front with the two tens. Pesh is called with King Queen. A chance of knocking out Benjamin Zamani. Well, Vince, all this plan. And it's pretty much come down to a race between these two guys. Ow. But if the tens hold up, Vance, we have a three-horse race. And I mean a real three-horse race. Hey. Oh, my goodness, 410! Quads on the flop. That'll end this hand. <laughs> well, even pass last. Drawing dead on the flop. You don't expect that. Ridiculous. Not even a queen of spades. Oh, my God. Well, Ben Zamani. Should have done it to you. He got the double up. I wasn't expecting to get it that way with 40 miles. Well, Vince, two tens have been the key hand at this final table so far. We've seen a big suck out. We've seen him get sucked out on. And now we see him flop quads. Wow. 
Well, with that hit, Pesh will still be the chip leader, but only by a little bit. All right, to the cards we go. Pesh now with King Queen. He's going to raise it to 325. Pat has picked up Ace of Four. He will make this call. And Zamani with the Jack Three offsuit, just going to have to give it up. There comes a flop. Let's come A6, three, two diamonds. Great flop for Pat. Action's on him. And he's betting 325,000. I don't understand why you would lead out after flopping two aces here. If you check, your opponent's going to make a continuation bet at least 90% of the time with that flop. Now we can get away from the king queen. Well, he's trying to pretend like he got a little piece of that threes or sixes and just. Usually a guy that hits aces doesn't lead out. He plays in an unorthodox game and shows one card. He takes the pot, but yeah. chased away his guy. I think the check makes you a lot more money in the long run. Ichi Kawawa, baby. <laughs> well, Pat, very happy right now. And he's happy because he's chip leader now after that hand. And the blinds are going up to one and two hundred with a thirty thousand dollar ante now. And we go to Benjamin with a ten nine. Well, he's on the button. He's gonna raise it. Makes it five hundred and twenty five thousand to go. And right behind a pesh with an A six. What will he do with that? And he's gonna play it when he pulls the sleeve down and caps his cards. So the question is, is he going to call or is he going to raise? He's not really a caller. And here comes a three bet, as you can see, and a healthy one. To nearly 1.4 million. And now Pat is going to look at his cards, and he's going to love that I'm because he's got a pair of aces and goes all in. Ben out. Man, look how confident he looked there. And then he looked at the gallery, let him know he's got a big hand. I just... Don't understand why he'd react that way with the two aces. I can understand the all-in bet. But let's see if Pesh can pick up on it. Maybe he doesn't mind if Pesh folds the hand. He figures there's enough in there. I'll take it. No bad beats. He just looks too confident, on. though. Well, he did. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Thanks. See ya. Thanks. See ya. See ya. See ya. Thanks. See ya. Thanks. See ya. Thanks. Things. Things happen. I would have got called by Ace King right there, or Pocket Jacks. You gotta be careful when you're playing with the lion. Most poker players don't like rake, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch, no tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200 He called a shot that he's going to win it. Let's see if he can. All right, quick fold by Pat. And now Zamani with the little suited connector. And he will just call it Pesh now with an awful looking 10-4. Well, it's going to take a free flop here. Blinds are up to one and two hundred thousand with a thirty thousand ante, and the flop is a ten nine three. Well, that's a nice flop for Pesh. Zamani checks, and Pesh is going to bet here two hundred twenty five thousand. Benjamin is going to play the 6 5 of spade. No hand, no draw at the moment. So he's obviously going to try to steal this pot later, maybe. Now, Queen comes off. And again, Zamani checks. And Pesh checks right behind him. Down to the river we go. It's a jack. Well, Zamani knows the only way he can win this pot is to bet at it. He is going to bet it, but not much. Just 205,000 into a pot that's got 940,000 in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. This is what we call the men bluff hand, Vince. <laughs> you make a men bet yeah. 
for the bluff. I mean, it looks like oh, no. you made a pair of jacks, oh. maybe a pair of queens. You don't want to pay off a straight draw or a big bet, so you bet a minimum. Oh, no. Pesh has <laughs> dropped the hand, and thinking he wow. made a smart drop, little does he know. Well, folks, we've seen it all at this final table tonight. There was the men bet bluff on the river by Zamani, worked to perfection. And we move on. Pat Lyons this time with a king three of spades. And he'll make it 5.30 to go. Zamani with an A7, but no, he's going to muck that. And now Pesh with the little suited connector, 5.6 of diamonds. Well, he's got the hand that just beat him, the 5.6 suited. He's going to make the call and look at a flop here. And the flop comes ace, queen, queen with two diamonds. So Pesh has flopped the flush draw and checks. Pat checks right behind him. Now the deuce of diamonds comes off. Pesh with the flush. Pat drawing dead. Pesh checks. Pat checks again. And now the queen comes off. So there's three queens out there, but Pesh out in front with the flush. And I think he'll get paid off perhaps if he bets here by the king high. And he's going to bet 625,000. Oh, those are million dollar plaques. He has bet 2 million. Pat Lyons has raised the pot here, representing a big full house or quads. Yes, we saw him outplay this guy a while back earlier at this final table when he got him off three fours on the river. Can he get him off a flush on the river? What do you have? Wow, what a play by Pat Lyons. It's, I don't care if he wins the pot or loses it. You gotta love this play if you're a poker player. What moves we're seeing at this final table tonight? He's queen. Pesh. That flush shrinking up here. One three of a kind's out there. Well, Vince, he knows that the guy's either got to have an ace or a queen in his hand. You cannot make this play with any other hand. Oh, wow. He's going to lay it down. You think that time with Jack High? Huh? Yeah, like Jack High. Oh. I had a flush. Oh. Can't throw a bluff. Pretty fucked, huh? Yeah. Whole hand was. Now Vince Pesh has got completely outplayed the last two pots in a row, but you got to hand it to his opponents. No bluff. I had to wait for the bet on the river. You fought the full house. I ace king. Ace king. He's doing some lying right there once again. This is on Benjamin. Zamani, a 7-3. I mean, so all three of these players have shown a lot of heart throughout this final table. And you're seeing more of it right here. Benjamin raising on the button with just a 7-3 offsuit. And now pass to Silva with an ace, seven of spades. He's on the short stack at this moment. Come on. And he is gonna push all in. Pat just hoping against hope he has a big hand. Uh, growls a little bit and folds. Uh, Zamani out as well. Yeah. So nice all in bet there by Pesh. There's his fiance in the stands rooting him on all night long. As we move on, right back to Pesh. Went to the University of Houston. Studied history and political science there. Trying to make a little history on the World Poker Tour here tonight. Yeah, he's got ace deuce. He's got a raise to 405. The blinds are at one and 200 with a $30,000 ante. Pat folds. And Benjamin with a king seven of spades. One. And he is going to shove all in. All these guys showing so much heart. 
don't know how you can call and the 3.6 million with Ace Deuce offsuit and Pesh throws it away, but take your hat off to Benjamin Zamani for moving in there. Well done. Once again, the Andes are going up to 40,000. Blinds 120 and 240. We started out this tournament with 687 entries. We're down to these three. And look at this. Pesh to Silva picks up a pair of jacks. Perhaps at the perfect time. He's going to raise. Makes it 485. Now Pat Lyons right behind him with Queen 10. 1085. Uh oh. And he's going to raise it to nearly 1.1 million with the Queen 10 offsuit. But this play is not going to work. All in. Benjamin call. out. Pest goes all in. And a snap call by Pat Lyons with the Queen 10 offsuit. I can't believe it. I just made a move because I will get lucky now. I'll make a move, get lucky. Make a move, get lucky. Well, he's confident he's going to get lucky, but... Queen dime, jack jack. Let the lion win this hand. If Pesh wins this, Let the lion once again, win this hand. be the Let chip the leader with three hand. players left. Let well out in front now, hand. two jacks against the queen ten. I got a bad beat, got to give a bad beat. Come on now. Queen, queen of hearts. Here's the flop, it's at eight, nine, deuce. Let's go, any picture, any picture. Well, Pesh no longer wants to see a jack, that's for sure. Any picture, any picture for excitement. Any picture for the excitement, come on, come on. Come on, baby. He's a on, rambling baby. man right now. Pate. Pat Lyons Pate. in rear form, and he's an ace. Now. Well, an ace comes off, now we are down picture. to the river. Now Pat Lyons picture. needs a queen or a jack to win the pot. Now any picture, come on. Otherwise, any Pesh picture. is going to double All the up. Picture cards. All the picture cards. Take the chip lead three-handed, and Pat Lyons will be in third any chip paint. position. Any paint. Any paint. All the paint cards. Any picture. Picasso. All right, let's see the Picasso, room. baby. Picasso. Yes! Yeah! Wow! Yes! Unbelievable. He called it, Vince. Oh! Wow. What a horrible beat for Pesh de Silva right there on the river. Just incredible how many outdraws we've seen tonight yeah. at this final table. I think it's all time on the World Poker Tour. The suckouts, we're seeing the pain in the room. Right now, Pesh has to say goodnight in third place. Gonna take home 198,000. Let's talk to Pesh. Um, things got a little bit gambly. Like the last hand was a bit gambly, but uh, it was headed that way anyways. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with the way I played. Um, but sometimes the cards just don't go your way, you know? Well, Pat Lyons, already a legend in his own mind, could become a legend of poker champion, as you can see. He's got about a three to one chip lead over Benjamin Zamani as we start heads up play. Yeah, Pat Lyons, quite a character. And what plays we've seen him make tonight, all kinds of big bluffs. Very, very tricky player. Very talented, but so is Benjamin Zamani, of course. Third time at the final table. Three times he's been playing for the championship. Heads up. Yet to win the title, and now it's on Ben, and he's just going to call with a 6-5. And Pat Lyons with queen 8. What will he do with that? And he's going to check. Just give us a flop. All right, they keep it gentle on the first hand. The flop is a 7-6 deuce. Well, good flop there for Zamani. He's taking the lead with two sixes. Pat Lyons has checked. He knows Zamani's going to bet. You're not going to give your opponent a free card here. That's 300,000. Pat, it's OK to fold. You're allowed to give up some hands, you know. He's playing with those plaques worth a million each. It's kind of scary, but finally he's going to fold the hand. He does lay it down. Yep. Give a few crackers to Ben Zamani. Where are you going to play after this? Are you going to go? Are you going to go to Borgata or no? Yeah, Pat Lyons. Yeah. Are you going? Always talking at the table. A few years ago at Bay 101, I saw him in the stands. I didn't know he was a player. He was just the loudest spectator I had ever seen, drinking and screaming. And now, find out he's quite a player. Well, the world will know he's a player if he wins this tournament. I can tell you, he is not afraid to brag on himself. Go out there and try to. And Pat this time has a king nine.
Just limping in on the button here with King Nine with a big chip lead. Very surprising. Zamani with the six three of diamonds. Happy to get a free flop. And it comes King High. King four deuce. Pat with top pair, but as you can see, Benjamin with the gut shot straight draw, the backdoor flush draw. It's his turn to act, and he's going to lead right out and bet 300000 But just like that, he's going to get raised. 750000 now the bet. Well, Benjamin not going to go away. He has made this call. Hoping to get lucky with the inside straight, not to be as a nine appears. Kings and nines now for Pat Lyons. Yes, I believe that was the perfect card for Pat Lyons' hand. There's no possible flush out there. Might be a possible straight, but kings and nines, a very big hand right now. Benjamin is checked, and Pat's going to put in a bet. Not going to play it slow. Looks like 1.2 million. Well, Benjamin has not jettisoned his hand yet. Oh, boy. He decides to make a move here, Vince, which he's capable of doing. Thumbs back. It's fine. <laughs> and move all in. But Pat looks too confident over there. I think he gives away the strength of his hand at times by flirting with the crowd. Will Zabani pick up on it? Yep, he's going to give it up. Well, Pat Lyons extends his chip lead in this heads-up battle. Most poker players don't like break, and that's why we're throwing you a party. During the month of April on WPT Global, there's no tournament rake. That's right, play tournaments at WPT Global and enjoy more money in the prize pool. There's zero catch, no tournament rake. Use the promo code YT54 and get your deposit matched dollar for dollar up to 1200. Pat Lyons out in front with about 17 million, as you can see. Benjamin Zamani with about 3.7 million. And Mike, the blinds are now 150 and 300 with a $50,000 Annie. Here we go, Pat Lyons with an ace nine of spades. He just moves all in, Vince. I yep. like that play. He's not going to throw it away if his opponent re raises, so why make a cheap raise? Just move in, take it down. Yeah, the blinds are so big at this point. So Pat Lyons on a roll right now. Nobody's ever done this before. <laughs> it's a $5 million fan. I like that. Though. He's fanning himself, still having a great time, ever so close to being our champion. Now this time, Ben Zamani with King 10 of clubs. I bet he's only got 11 big blinds, so I'd be shocked if he all didn't in. ship all it. In. Yep, he's moved it all in. The Bay 101 hand, 38 suited. And Pat Lyons goes out. Now Pat Lyons. Mm. He has had 45 bottles of water this evening, a whole lot of good cards, and a lot of bluffs. Playing superbly. Can he close here? Down the stretch we go. Ronnie, right there. And Pat That's Lyons good, continuing good. his chit chat to the rails, his buddies. It's just amazing. He seems more interested in talking to the rail than he does playing heads up for this title. Well, he's it's ridiculous. All this in. Time, ace eight. He's gone all in, and Zamani could call. call this, and he does call it. Eight, eight kicker. Eight ace deuce versus ace eight. Pat Lyons in a great place to knock out Zamani. Well, there are a number of hands they could split the pot with. But Pat well out in front here with the ace eight against the ace deuce. If it holds, the man who calls himself a legend already will become the true Legends of Poker champion. The crowd loving this. The crowd has been fed drinks all night for free by Pat Lyons. It's far from over here. Of course. There's a lot of hands they can split. He's shaking hands with everybody like he's won it. Clubs. All clubs. Come on. Ronnie, Ronnie. All clubs. Benjamin just all wants clubs. to hit a deuce here on the flop. All clubs. All clubs. Let's take a look. Clubs. It is a 997. Well, if a seven would come off, they would split this pot. But nine comes off, and any big card comes off, they would split the pot. 
A lot of things can happen here. Benjamin needs a deuce to take All the lead. Clubs. Can All he clubs. get his deuce? No, it's a jack of hearts, not there. All clubs. All clubs. All clubs. Well, Benjamin All needs clubs. a deuce to win the pot, but he can tie the pot if a nine, a seven, a jack, a queen or a king comes off. All clubs. Got this. All clubs. Yes! Here we go. It's a ten of spades. He's done it. So that is going to do it. Another river card win for Pat Lyons, and he takes down the title. But Vince, let's give a salute to Benjamin Zamani. This is back-to-back runner-up finishes. Three times in 10 months, he's finished second on a world poker tour. You got to feel pain for the guy a little bit. He's still a bridesmaid, but nevertheless, what a performance this week. He's taken the lead in the Hublot WPT Player of the Year race. Made a lot of money. Good week for Ben, but still not a title. time let's hear it for the legends of poker champion the world famous pat lyon lynn back to you